fact, you get one of these stunning images every single month. I mean, that, January can be quite a cold, Aww. depressing month. That's going to make you smile <laughs> yes. every time you look at it, yes. isn't it? And we, obviously, we're focusing on this calendar today because it goes so beautifully with the theme of the panels that we have for the, oh, the cushions wow. and the bag. So, um, yeah, it just coordinates beautiful stunningly there we go the badges in the blue bells of course wow and uh so we have oh the hair we have not this image but we have a different hair on the tote bag yeah always so popular the otters there and you say Pollyanna was I mean she was a wildlife artist mm. for 50 years yes yeah. she was at art college for five years and then took the plunge went professional freelance and her career spanned 50 years which Gosh. is incredible but that's why we still have this stunning archive of images mm. that we can keep dipping into and, yeah. and bringing to share with uh, well now the, the sewing community as well as the crafters that's what's in, uh, incredible yeah. isn't it i know that you've been on our sister channel uh, before yes. and you know the paper cross side of it but this is the first time that these have been it printed is. onto fabrics. onto the fabrics which is yeah wonderful yeah. it's so exciting <laughs> so just so you know all of the um the calendars again are selling out if you would like a calendar <laughs> definitely take those in the next couple of minutes that's everything yeah. that we can get we definitely cannot it get is. more there, of these 100 percent there won't be more of these this is it this is all we've got so oh red squirrel oh, look at that look at that and there should, be, there should be one more if i can find the page oh yeah and to finish with we've got a little bit of everything oh, we've got a beautiful. sort of um garden of eden style scene there with the fox and the squirrels and the mice all getting on remarkably well together <laughs> as, they <do. laughs> as they do in real life yes <laughs> there's your wildlife calendar of 2024 ready to go um anything that you're ordering today of course is all under one poster and packaging even though these are of course coming from um from yourself now yes. stock warning before we start on the panels before we start on the canvas as well there are five remaining of a brush with wildlife book there's only five remaining <laughs> Uh, started with hundreds of those so well done if you managed to get them uh, and again limited on the eye of the tiger right. panels coming up in just a moment you have brought to us though some really special canvas I things. have right let me hold that with a bit <laughs> we've we got a lot do that on the yeah should, oh, should we move the cushions the briefly we'll put them back in a minute now I wanted to bring this very much today because this is one of the images that you have on the cushion yeah this stunning barn owl in the poppies and it's an image that any time it's been used on cards or anything has always been so popular gorgeous People love it and these little canvases again usual retail price 15 pounds we are bringing them to you for 10 pounds and they are lovely little box canvases you can see the image goes all around the side nice as well. they're incredibly lightweight and they're literally ready to hang so you unpack it you open it you can pop it on the wall i love them and the yes. colors on that i mean they are beautiful isn't it the gorgeous mm -hmm. absolutely stunning and this is angel the bar now that you saw the yeah. image in the book now angel was actually brought to us she was rescued by another animal welfare organization and she'd been bought as a tiny little owlet in a pet shop right by some people who then took her home and when she grew into an adult owl found they really couldn't cope with a fully grown owl they were keeping her in their bathroom which wasn't <laughs> ideal so they brought her to us because we had all the lovely aviaries and so on but Angel, because she'd been hand-reared from being so tiny, was so tame that we just weren't able to release her into the wild, although mm. she was physically fit. So we had to give her a home for the rest of her life. Aww. And because she was so tame and because she couldn't be released, there was no point in trying to sort of keep her any wilder. So she would literally sit on the end of Pollyanna's easel or drawing board as she painted her. She would go out into the garden regularly so that she could fly and Pollyanna would have an easel in the garden and Angel would just come back down and sit there while wow. she was sketched and painted. So this is our beautiful Angel the barn owl. Oh, I love, love, love this one. I, I mean, we have had this printed onto fabrics yes, as well. So you'll see this panels, one in yeah. the panels. Remember, they're normally £15 if you do want to make the yes. most of the lovely canvases. Um, is this the first time that you've brought these to us? It is, air? yep. This has never been seen on air before. It's brand new. And again, these aren't available 
anywhere else other than, like I say, our website at £15. Okay. The, the, on-air price is exclusive, but again, you can't actually get them in the shops. You won't see these anywhere else either. They are exclusive. Up to these going in baskets, I'm not surprised, and they are going to be sent straight out to you. <laughs> so they will be in time for Christmas if you are thinking of gift ideas as well. Um, something a little bit different. Yeah. And especially if you're going to make some lovely cushions, it's nice to have... Yeah, the yeah. coordinating image for the wall. That's it. And like I say, incredibly lightweight. You can lift, literally lift the thing on one finger. So it's right. got a little kind of indent on the back, so you can just pop it on a pin. But these are so light, you can literally put them up with blue tack. Oh. They will stay up. Because although right. we call it a canvas, it's actually made from a, a recycled, eco-friendly... Oh, wow, exactly. it is really that lightweight. Light. As a recycled, eco-friendly material, which is a sort of more environmentally friendly alternative to a traditional canvas. But it still has that sort of texture. It's got that traditional canvas look to it. Gorgeous. Absolutely. Um, OK, it's time, it is time, it is time. Are we ready? We've got brand new panels. We're going to start with the brand new ones. We have got some of the exotic ones back again, but shall we go for it? I think that we should start with Angel. Yes. yes. Now, what I love about our panels... Oh, wait till you see this. Like you said, it was really important to you that you wanted to see the end result before yeah. we just did this willy-nilly. Obviously, this is... This is um, you, you, your mom's work, you want to make sure that it is, it is perfect. Oh, and look like at how beautiful you have got Angel there. And then we have managed to get these complementing fabrics. You can see our team have worked with Pollyanna's artwork to be able to create the complementing colours. You've got the labels there as well. You've got different sizes. Even the more delicate sizes over here have still captured you know the, the painting perfectly the essence of the painting perfectly um now it's up to you what you do with it they have suggested here look you've got labels on here um to be able to do your cushion so you've got your main cushion front with your border already there and then you've got your envelope back your two pieces for your envelope back and then there was a bit of room left on the panel <laughs> so they've put some spare coordinating fabric and extra uh extra pieces here and three labels as well. So this one, Angel, I love the bar now with the poppies. I know, the beautiful, colours are just so stunning on that, aren't they? So beautiful. This gives you a bit of an idea. That. And once again, this is Angel who we were just talking about in the book. It is, it is. Oh, I love that they've even look, pattern matched the back yeah. as well for you. It's all going to work. Um, once you've got your envelope, once you've got your cushion inner in there. It is a stunning piece. I mean, look at the detail in the feathers, Eva. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And this is, I think, where you can see the difference in Pollyanna's work. You can see just the time she spent with the birds. She knew them so well. They also like photographs, don't they? In, in some <laughs> ways they do. I mean, because they've got that level of detail. Although when you look at the artwork, yeah. you'll often find there's a lot of focus detail, particularly in the eyes. eyes. The eyes are so important mm -hmm. and on the feathers. And then some of the backgrounds are a little bit more sort of impressionistic. Yeah. Um, so there is still that painterly quality about them, mm -hmm. but they have got that incredible fine detail. Like you said, yes. exactly, with the eyes. Yes, always the most important part. Pollyanna, when she started painting, she would sort of block out the image first quite loosely. But then when she started working on the fine detail, she'd always start with the eyes. That would be the part she would do first. It brings them to life. You, can, you can see exactly like you say what Angel is like, just perching, I can imagine, yes. uh, perching on the, your, uh, Pollyanna's easel. So um, can you paint, by the way? Uh, I don't paint. <laughs> uh, I think the creative side of my job is probably more in the writing. As yeah. I, say. I, I write the books. I did all the photography on our expeditions and for the books as well. So that would be the creative yeah. side of my work. But I worked in the business. Like yeah. <laughs> different licensing companies and all that side of it. Also fascinating work really interesting oh absolutely i mean your journey your life has been incredible hasn't it it's been interesting oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah you have a lot of stories as well huge amount of variety that's been the, the key thing i would say uh, <laughs> the only 14 pounds 99 a great price every single one of them sold out again in the last time round so if you do love the British wildlife, the barn owl, definitely one that we had to start with. Yes. Um, but we have lots to bring you. Shall we do? Do you have a favourite? Oh, that's uh, 
difficult question, isn't it? I actually love the fox in the autumn leaves. I love the colours of this one. It's so subtle. Is it this one on the front? We, yeah, we've actually got, we've got a full, wow, wow, wow. Uh, full made-up cushion here, and you've hopefully got the panel on there yes. as well. But this fox was a fox named Dennis. Okay. You can remember your childhood comics. You'll know why he was called Dennis. Um, he was. Was found, he a menace? Just a little bit, then maybe slightly. He was actually found wandering in a park in the Derbyshire town that we live in. He'd evidently he was still quite a young fox, but he'd obviously been hand reared. I think he'd been rescued as mm -hmm. a cub, hand reared up to that point, but then just kind of checked out and really wasn't ready so the people who found him brought him to us and we had this little fox cub in the house causing chaos um, again because he'd been hand reared from such a young age now when we had young foxes we would try very hard to keep them as wild as possible because the whole idea of the work we were doing was mm. that things went back to the wild to live yeah. a, a natural life that's so difficult though when you get so attached to it them. is I mean you know that that's the point. That's what you want to happen. Yeah. But part of you just wants to kind of Be hold them. on to them and Be look like, after Be our them. Be our baby. Yeah. It was kind of a mixture between being incredibly rewarding when you saw them leave and also incredibly worried. Yeah, yeah. But Dennis, because he was so tame, we couldn't give him as well, we did give him a full release, but he went to live on a farm in Lincolnshire. It was an agricultural farm, so there was no livestock for him to worry, because of course still knew what hens were. Well, yeah. Um, and he was given his complete freedom. He chose not to take it. He actually stayed around the farmyard. He would go into the stables at night and sleep with the horses. Oh. Every evening, he would go and scratch on the farmhouse kitchen door until he got a bowl of cocoa, a hot chocolate. <laughs> oh, and he loved to sneak into the house. He loved to watch TV. He would sit on the sofa. His favourite was Coronation Street. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> I mean, it, it actually brings so. Dennis to life, doesn't it? And you have got Dennis on a cushion yes, here. on a cushion. Uh, but like I said, but I love this because I just love the way the colours of the leaves coordinate with his fur. It's just such a gorgeous image. Yes, and you've got the whole pattern. There we go. I show you. You have got here um, <laughs> the image at the front there. Oh, you can tell, actually, from the picture, he's very tame, friendly fox. Yeah, you can see that expression in his eyes, can't you? Yeah, <laughs> cuddling up, watching Coronation Street. <laughs> yeah. Can see it now with his lovely, fluffy tail. Um, oh, gorgeous. And then you've also got your complementing fabric, which is going to be perfect for an envelope bag. But there's nothing stopping you using that. Or, uh, you know, if you want to multi bar these, I know lots of people who are, uh, are building up their own quilt. Mm -hmm. That would be a perfect central block on a quilt. It could be the front panel of a bag. Um, and, and, you know, some of these artwork pieces, I mean, they are big canvas paintings yes. that you've bought in to show us today. You can't carry those on the move with you all the time. How lovely to be able to have it on a bag. Well, that's true, isn't it? Yeah. I know. And it, yeah. And it's, yeah, it's going to be one that people are really going to admire and comment on as well because it's so striking. Absolutely. Uh, you know, imagine if you were to see one of these um, cushions or bags, whatever you want to make it into, um, in an art gallery. If you saw them, how much they would be. The fact that you can get £15, less than £15, your full panel that you can then make your own. Now, they are exclusive to Sewing Street again. They are exclusive. You're not going to find these anywhere else. And the team have put a lot of love, a lot of detail into um, bringing these. That's why it's taken us a couple of months to be able to bring them back again. And it's not something we're not going to be able to see you every single month, no, are we? I'm, I'm hoping I will be back. But as you say, Definitely. the launches will be more occasional. We'll be probably, hopefully yeah. every two or three months, we'll okay. be able to put a new collection together. Oh, there great. is quite a lot of work, as you say, to be done in the background. Yeah. So that we get this gorgeous quality and the, the lovely fabrics to go with them. So. That's it. We've got to get it right. Um, the fox Dennis is very, very popular. I think we should have called this one Dennis. Um, just 14 and 99. But I like that it's, you know, a little bit of a, a secret nod. Once you've read the book, mm. when you hear Anna Louise's stories, <laughs> just know a little bit more. Well, it's lovely, isn't it, to know that background whilst you are actually sewing and creating something and you yeah. know that background story. Yeah. It does make it a little bit more special, I think. Yeah. <laughs>
And this is it now. I mean, obviously, I know that you you do a lot of work still with the with the, um, the trust as well. It's still yes, all going, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. The the charitable foundation that's, that's now my main focus, sort okay. of carrying on Pollyanna's legacy with that, but also still staging events and exhibitions of our okay. artwork. And I go out and about and give a lot of talks about our expeditions and the animals and the journeys, which is always oh, lovely to do. Brilliant. Yes. But that's it. I mean, we're we're not going to get any more of these paintings this is it that's isn't it? right so know, that's it uh we've got to make the, the you know the most of all of these amazing mm. um pieces whilst we have the chance to bring them to you as you said we'll try and bring you more and we'll bring you as many as i bet do you have quite a different few designs well obviously i only have a very finite number of original pieces now okay. um but Certainly since the sort of late 90s, all of Pollyanna's artwork went to technical photography. Okay. So in the early days, that's large format transparency, of course, latterly high res digital images. And that's how we have this incredible artwork, um, right. this amazing archive that you can now use on products like this. Um, people are asking about the hairs. Yes. So do we have a name for the hair? Oh, this is an option, by the way, if you want to make it into a bag. Isn't that lovely? It's stunning, isn't it? Really uh, lovely. He was called Horace. He was one that we cared for in the hospital, in the wildlife sanctuary. Uh, was eventually re-released fully into the wild. Okay. Yes. So, yeah, like all of them, he has a name. And did you so, know Horace as well? Yeah, all of these. We probably started running the sanctuary when I was around about 10 or 11 years old. Aww. So, I always, you can imagine, I had the best excuses for being late to school. <laughs> So sorry, I had to feed the baby Tawny out. I'm sorry, the fox ate my homework. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I mean, every single one of these you can see has a story and it must be quite emotional for you actually seeing each of these animals. It is, but it's really, light. really lovely to have the opportunity to share them with people. Um, Pollyanna, she always wanted people to enjoy her artwork, for it to be yeah. sort of in their homes, part of their lives, latterly to craft and sew with it as yeah. well. Um, she realised, of course, that only a very limited number of people would be able to afford or have access to an original painting, and she wanted it to be something that everyone could enjoy. And so I know she would be absolutely thrilled that we, we now have the fabrics mm. as well. Mm -hmm. And people, she also loved the fact that people could take her images and then use their own creativity as well. Uh, this one, by the way, I had no idea that this one also comes with your instructions on the top as well. So if you love that tote bag that we just held up, you can make it. You can actually make it with your instructions at the top there. Uh, they're great panels. I mean, you've got not just one, but both sides you're going to have that gorgeous image of Horace um, it's so big I mean I'm literally <laughs> vanishing behind here but I just want you to see the size of it because you've got um, the straps there included you've also got all these beautiful labels I mean keep hold of these these are all just extras for you imagine just putting these onto back of quilts or bags to gift for people they are lovely Fabric postcards, love that idea. But what I would be doing, I'm just going to be even extra savvy, is make two and have one, the front of one, and use like a calico or just a, a plain cream or ochre. And then you've got two, you've got both images there for front and back. I think that's quite um, generous. So absolutely make the most of that one. We love Horace. Oh, it's so cute, especially going into the spring. That's a nice one exactly. for the daisies. Yes, it is, isn't it? Really lovely. I know, and cheer us up on a very cold morning. Too. Oh, gosh, it was absolutely <laughs> freezing oh, yes. this morning. <laughs> uh, right, we also have the hedgehog. Hedgehog. Baby hedgehog. Baby hedgehog in also, look, a little plant pot. And that's kind of the first frost of winter, so he's going to be starting to think about oh. hibernating at any time. <laughs> um, is a baby hedgehog called a hoglet? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is a hoglet, yes. Oh, I love <laughs> that. Isn't that adorable? Is this a baby hedgehog or is it a hedgehog? It's, it, well, it's, it's a hedgehog, but I would say probably the first year's youngster, because, of course, we did rear several orphaned hedgehogs as well over the years. So oh, I again, bet. And that kind of hands-on experience. Oh, so. look. Hedgehogs in the studio. <laughs> hedgehogs are lovely, aren't they? They are. And, you know, this per 
perfect image in the plant pots because we call them the gardener's friend because they help to eat all the slugs and things like that. So it's always fabulous news if you've got a hedgehog in your garden. I haven't seen a hedgehog for ages. Sadly, they are struggling a bit oh. in the wild, actually. They're getting much more sort of rarely seen. The roads have a lot to answer. How can we help? Uh, you can buy little hedgehog houses which are absolutely gorgeous and that gives them somewhere to hibernate uh, leave some nice piles of leaves around for them leave bits of your garden a little bit wilder yeah. and if you're in a, a sort of row of gardens with fences just make sure there's little holes just tiny little arch holes in the bottom of your fences so they've got a way of of getting through so right. they've got a little hedgehog access oh ponds are good for all wildlife because they okay. all need to drink so that goes for hedgehogs too and and you can put food out for them. They love dog food. They like dog food. Dog food, food is absolutely ideal, yeah. So lots of ways you can help the hedgehogs. So you need hot chocolate for, <laughs> for Dennis. <laughs> Probably not the recommended one <laughs> for foxes. Dennis may have been a bit of an exception. <laughs> um, uh, but yes, dog food's ideal for, for hedgehogs. And oh. you can actually, I think you can buy special hedgehog food as well, actually, if you want to go that far to, to help your hedgehogs. Again, look at the hedgehog's eyes. I know. Beauty. Oh, love this. Absolutely love it. Um, you've got your cushion front, complementing fabrics for your cushion back. And then, again, spare fabric, extra fabric postcards. That could be a fabric card. You could frame that, yeah. couldn't you? Yes, you could, actually. Yes. You've then got three extra um, labels as well at the bottom for you to do with whatever you, whatever you want with them. I know lots of... You know, we've done lots of, um, I don't want to, no disrespect to any, anybody else, but we've done lots of designs with um, artwork on, that's been done digitally on a computer yeah. and drawn in a really creative space or in Absolutely. an office, yes. but look at it a picture. But I love the fact that this is literally some somebody's life this is someone exactly. you can see that exactly. can't you it, like you, you say really in the animal's can. eyes and like i say you can of course you can generate some beautiful designs but i don't think you get that absolute sort of individual feeling that sense of it being an individual animal you know no and, yeah and going to you know these crazy exotic locations to find some of the most exotic but also lots of these animals that are in our gardens exactly. yes the I ones we've got today these are the birds and animals that that we see without going quite so far afield. yeah and although Pollyanna you know the the expeditions that we made were incredible and that was a big part of her life but she also said she thought she could paint within kind of two miles of her front door and find enough to actually inspire her yeah. you know forever because so whereabouts are, are you? Whereabouts are you? We are based in the beautiful um, county of Derbyshire, right on the edge of the Peak District, so oh, in the lovely. Derbyshire Dales. So it's so yes, yeah, beautiful area. Absolutely Gorgeous. Lovely. Like you say, yeah, we've got these amazing, you know, wildlife mm. on our doorstep. Um, hedgehog, love it. Fourteen pounds ninety nine. Absolutely grab that while you can. We're not done, by the way. I know that last time um, Anna Louise was here. We, we ended up keeping you an extra thing half an hour. Yes. And we're not allowed to run no, over I today. Know. So I we've know. got to make sure we get them all in. <laughs> we've got to make sure yes. we get them all in. Um, we'll try. If you can stay a little bit longer, we'll do our best to see if we can get everything in. But <laughs> we'll see how we go. We'll, we'll try and get through everything. Don't worry. We will. If, if we do end up running over at all, then um, Tr Tracy will definitely get her time as well. Um, shall we do... Is there an individual badger? What? There is an individual badger. I, yes, there is in the bluebells. Is that? Are you holding him? Is that him? Oh, we got, no, that's a, that's a hedgehog. This one, I believe. Oh, no, I've got, yes, I've got a, a badger in the bluebells. Look at that! I know. Ah, uh, have you? I've, I don't think I've ever seen a badger before. Have you? Have, you've must have seen <laughs> many badgers. We have. Well, they are nocturnal, of course, so that makes them a little bit trickier to see. Um, but we spent many, many hours outside badger set, sitting in hides, watching for Pollyanna to sketch. This particular badger was called Norton. He actually wasn't one that we cared for ourselves. He was brought to a wildlife centre run by some friends of ours. He was called Norton because he arrived on the back of a motorbike. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And they phoned oh Pollyanna up and they said, we've got a little badger, do you want to come and sketch him? <gasps> oh, wow. So we spent, well, a few days she, she was able to spend with him. Look, oh, my word. 
and the colours on this again are just gorgeous, aren't they? With those bluebells. It's one of my. It is one of my favourite times of year. Is the bluebell fields. I love yeah. love going for walks with the bluebells. Yeah. So to have the badger and the bluebells together, and you've got lots of bluebells, all just very sort of faintly. It, completely sort of compliments, doesn't take away from yeah. the artwork. It's very subtle, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So the designers here have done such a beautiful job in picking out those elements, but just like I say, keeping it quite subtle so that the, the painting's still the main focus. £14.99, your Pollyanna Pickering, Badger in the Bluebells cushion this time. Uh, a lovely, this would be a really lovely um, long cushion, like we had, you've just had the uh, original, yeah, there we go, that, yes, one that the team's one made up. There, and we can again see the envelope back at the back. Yes. If you want to put a zip in, if you want to change it up, if you want to use it on the front of a bag, or however you want to use it, it's completely up to you. But just giving you a bit of an idea. We have had so many messages coming in for you, by the way, um, Anna Louise. Love Pollyanna's paintings. I've already had the book, so I've ordered the calendar and the owl. That's Excellent. from Joyce. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you so much. Uh, Linda's also yeah. said, wow, Anna Lou, one of my favourites <laughs> is Dennis, Fleabag, Angel. Horatio the hair? Yes, I know. They all look fabulous. Have a great show. Hello, this That's is, Linda. This is lovely Linda Chapman, who you'll all know from Hobby Maker. Oh, who comes fabulous! On and does the fabulous paper craft kits with Pollyanna's artwork. So oh, morning, love it. Linda. Thank you for watching. Good morning. <laughs> Tracy's just said, morning, ladies. I've ordered Horace uh, to make two quilted oh, cushions nice. for my brother in law for Christmas. I think we've bought this right nice. at the, the perfect time. Anybody who's yes. struggling to think of something a bit different for a Christmas gift and make it really personal by making it yourself. They make really lovely quilted cushions. Thank you for your messages. And also, I'm sure if you're watching this channel, it might be a challenge for me, but this would actually be a relatively simple project, I'm assuming. Absolutely. So I'm thinking still plenty of time to actually make these up for Christmas. Oh, plenty of time because we've already put the border <laughs> on. me a bit longer. <laughs> Oh, no, you, you would be able to do this. I know I'm that you're saying, I'm not a sewer, I'm not a sewer, we'll yes. get you sewing. <laughs> you will get In the next sewing. 10 minutes, you but would be able I to know, do that. Yes, the amazing, talented people who are watching this would actually be... Oh, yeah. Yes, a relatively simple... Your project. first project. That exactly. could be your first yes. project, your first Absolutely. ever project. Yes. You don't need to do any piecing. It is literally yeah. cutting it out and sewing it together. Sewing it together, and you have this gorgeous, gorgeous cushion cover Absolutely. <laughs> now, I also have one... Um, which actually has a whole range, mm. a family of the wildlife animals. Do you want to hold yes, the one side? Yes. Because look at this. Here you have got... Oh, no, look. We've got a bit of everything, really, haven't we? Again, this is one of the, the sort of um, <laughs> multi-images where all oh, the wildlife this. is getting on so incredibly well. <laughs> got the robin <laughs> so it's a bit of, a, sort of an ideal world but they're so pretty and you have you've really got pretty much all your british wildlife in one place there so. <laughs> all in harmony all in harmony but it's so colorful and so pretty it's such a lovely lovely image um you've also got by the way your little um let me spin it around you've also got the extra pieces of fabric as well as the labels same You've got the, the different um, images in different sizes, which is brilliant, isn't it? You still keep the quality of the detail of the paintings on your fabric, all in different sizes. Fourteen ninety nine for your, um, this one's called your British Wildlife Cushion Fabric Panel. It's got all of the different, the deers, the squirrels, the rabbits and the bluebells. I love that one. Really beautiful. I don't know why I'm crossing my arms over. I'm making it really <laughs> awkward for me to hold like this. They're big panels. They're great size panels. Less than £15. If you do want to add some H640 into it, if you're doing a quilted um, cushion, uh, like our, our viewer just messaged in. Sorry, I can't remember your name. If you are doing a quilted one, get your H640, have a little bit of wadding maybe. Um, you, can, you could add extra borders to this, make it into a quilt. Have that as a central block on a quilt. Be lovely. Right. Last of our British Wildlife Collection. Why are you saving this one till last? This is Ben's favourite, my oh, really? favourite. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, well, square panel. Look at, this, look at this. I know, it's fabulous, isn't it? Let me get the other end. When we did the equivalent of this with our first collection, the exotic wildlife, 
this sold out before we actually went on air. We I'm not didn't surprised. even get as far as that. So I know they did go for some slightly higher quantities this time. Yeah. I'm, I'm hoping that we have got enough to go so, around. We've got yes, hundreds because, of these. I mean, look at <gasps> that. It, yeah. Well, they're five inch squares. So I yes. know from uh, crafting, uh, wait, the five inch charm packs, you can make your own charm pack with this, literally cut them out and there's lots of patterns. But if you did want to cheat a bit, literally <laughs> just cut out yeah. your block like this. You've got your cushions, you've got multiple yes. cushions. But if you did want to do smaller projects, these are really, really useful sizes to work with. And this is your chance to dip in and see so many different it, designs. All of our British wildlife that, oh. that we've brought today. So you've got yeah, a little taster of everything. And so useful, I say, so versatile, this fabric. Here we have Dennis and Horace. No, Horace, yes. Uh, Norton the Badger. Norton, sorry. Angel, our beautiful barn owl. I know, Dennis, yeah, I know. So you can see pretty much everybody we've been talking about is on this one. Just <laughs> £16.99. and pence. It is a big panel, 40 yeah. coordinating five-inch squares for £16.99. 16 yeah. No wonder, first time round, the uh, exotic one sold out. This is the first time we've seen the British wildlife yes. uh, square panel. First time we've brought them to air, first time that they've been on fabric. Wow. It's all brand new. I mean, that is just incredible, isn't it? You've got all your complementing fabrics on there as well. So if you did want to um, put them on the front of purses, pockets on bags, pockets on jackets. Yeah. It'd be lovely, wouldn't it? There are so many different things you could do with this. As you predicted, Ben... Obviously, the most popular. Half the stock has completely sold out, um, and there is a big queue. Stay there. If you can get onto the web, please do. That's definitely going to be the quickest way of getting it. Um, as we said, we did order a lot more than first time round. Uh, I'm pleased we did. If we had the same amount as we had last time, they would have all completely yeah. sold out. So enjoy. We, we learned that lesson. <laughs> oh, I hope so. I hope we have enough. I do think going into the new year, you know, when you take your Christmas decorations down, you just want to add a few lovely pieces. Great one for cushions, lovely for bags, beautiful colours in here, and just celebrating our British wildlife. Yeah. With Pollyanna's incredible artwork. Um, I really, dis I love discovering, you know, new paintings, new artists. Mm. This is going to be, I can't wait to have a, a good read up. I know that Ben's ha been having a look over the last um, hour and he's saying, oh my word, I mean, your mother, extraordinary woman, but also yes. what a, an amazing journey you've been on as well and yeah absolutely I We've mean Polly did have the most incredible career I mean she won over 50 awards during wow. her lifetime for not only of course the artwork but for her conservation work as well um, her work sells still continues to sell in over 80 countries around the world so she genuinely was absolutely at the top of her field yeah and, and like you say recognized as one of the world's foremost wildlife artists so Fabulous. oh well, thank you so much for bringing all these to us. Um, we have had people asking about the panels from last time round. We have some. I can't <laughs> promise that this is going to last, but we have some. Definitely get the last of those ones, though, because there is still a few chances. Right. We've been asking, do we have the wolf? Yes. We do. Was the wolf a popular one? Well, like I say, I'm not quite sure the order that it happened, but when wow. we came on the first show, by the time we went off air, we'd sold everything. <laughs> everything had gone. It's possible this was one of the ones that went first, which is why people are asking about <gasps> it. Oh, but tell it me about the wolf. Very quickly. Well, this particular wolf, again, painted from the wild. We went wow. to Romania, which is where they have the highest density of wolves remaining in Europe. So we travelled into the Carpathian Mountains, into the heart of Transylvania. <laughs> Gosh. for Pollyanna to paint the wolves Love that. and of course we stayed with a count in Transylvania as you would wouldn't you <laughs> <laughs> brilliant <laughs> so yes again painted sketched in the field from real life in the forest of Transylvania oh, 14.99 I did look oh my word 
and you are getting all of your little look complementing fabric with the little again the fabric mm -hmm. on this is gorgeous because we've got yes. really subtle the sort of the moon and stars but yeah just a just a hint works really well yeah, it does doesn't it it's 14 pounds 99 yeah. oh that one was very very popular again lots of people yeah. asking about it it's the different uh size cushion as well uh which i don't think i've got one here but it's going to be your lovely envelope back again just 14.99 already with the board around for you um really popular indeed we also have um this ends in 39 chu 39 please white tiger oh yeah they're so beautiful aren't they look <gasps> at that again this one would be ideal for the, oh. the tote bag as well oh it's got that format yeah. Wow, I'd love to meet a white tiger. <laughs> yeah. Well, there are actually, a lot of people think the white tigers are the tigers from Siberia that sort of live in the snow and ice. In fact, they're all Bengal tigers. They are a, a variation of the Bengal tigers. So. Wow, aren't yeah. they amazing? Yeah. I've never Those seen Those eyes that. again, though, look at that. That is absolutely yeah. amazing. Fourteen ninety nine. I'd just frame it once again. I'd put that. You could, you could couldn't you? stretch it onto a canvas or just frame it as it is it's absolutely gorgeous brilliant on a um, uh, front of a tote bag perfect but it is again a cushion panel so it's going to be a nice long cushion you have got your envelope backs included a really simple sew really easy for anybody who isn't really even a sewer you will be able to do this <laughs> we do hundreds of demonstrations all the time we've got loads of, of um, amazing sewers that can teach you on, well, you can just have a look onto our YouTube channel and you'll find how to do an envelope cushion back really easily. £14.99, because I know there's a lot of people who are watching who may have never watched us before. If you um, you follow uh, Anna Louise or and Pollyanna's artwork, then welcome. <laughs> it is the first time that these images have been printed onto fabric. Uh, we had a brilliant time back in, I think it was, was it? October that you were here yes, last it was August October, October. They came with the launch yes the very first one um, and again the response was amazing and it is it's absolutely lovely because like you say a lot of fans of Pollyanna's artwork are tuning in to see the new product mm -hmm. and likewise a lot of the people who are sewing well I say the artwork's new it probably is new but I guarantee at some point you will have had a card or a calendar yes. or something will yeah. have popped through the letterbox with Pollyanna's paintings on it. Because, of course, she was commissioned by so many of the wildlife charities. So yeah. if nothing else, you'll have had those Christmas Definitely. cards. Definitely. Yes. Um, this is the tiger. Yes. The tiger cushion panel is back. Grab it whilst you can. It completely sold out first time round. It's something that we can't bring to you day in, day out. We bring them on special shows um, with Anna Louise. So absolutely make the most of this whilst it's here today. It's 14 99 Printed here, in-house, ready to go. The absolute beauty is captured so perfectly. Even though it's transferred and printed onto fabric, haven't lost the brush strokes that you can see. Absolutely, absolutely. Kept that detail so well. 14 99 for your front panel, the complementing um, envelope back panels are there as well. All ready to go. That is beautiful. We, this is just a recap now. We have shown you all of the brand new panels. Fill your boot, go for it. These are now the recaps from last time around. We've managed to get a few more uh, back in stock for you. I've got OHU U93 still to bring you, Ben. Sorry, just letting my. Producing yep. the icing codes of which ones good. we've got. Um, let's have a look. This, oh, this is going to be the snow leopard, I think, isn't it? Am I right? It's a snow it leopard. It is indeed. Yes. From the Himalayas, just look oh. at that. <gasps> I know. And again, those eyes. Those eyes are just so stunning. Have you been to the Himalayas? Yes. <gasps> <laughs> we did. We spent um, six weeks trekking in the kingdom of Bhutan, wow. searching for snow leopards and their other incredible wildlife <laughs> they have up there, which was a stunning trip. The tough part of that one was the altitude. It was yeah. <laughs> made it quite hard work. The first night we camped up there, we were the same height as Everest Base Camp. Oh, my word. So you, you knew, you knew about that thin air when we started kind of trekking. But an amazing experience. Absolutely incredible. And I think these are just some of the most beautiful big cats. When you go on these mm. sort of big trips, yes. do you have to take, I mean, 
this is serious stuff. A lot of places, you know, there's no, um, I, I presume there's not really human c civilization of things like, are you camping or do you have to take? Yeah, we, like you say, these animals, rarely live next door to five star hotels yeah. so we we would always say we would stay in the best accommodation available which very often was just a tent with an ensuite hole in the ground and that was certainly the case when we were trekking no mobile phone areas. signal things like that no on that expedition i was without mobile phone without internet connection for the best part of the, the time just one time we went into a city in the middle and i could go to an internet cafe yeah. as they still had there and get online and check the several million emails that come in and then we left it all behind again and went up into the mountains. Wow. So at times we were very isolated. Yeah. 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 It, it's incredible, isn't it? Uh, how, how big are the teams that you used to go with? Well, primarily it would just be Pollyanna and myself. Wow. Uh, we needed to be very, very flexible. She needed a lot of time, of course, to sketch the wildlife and we needed to be free to kind of move to different areas mm -hmm. and then depending which country we were in we would usually have um, a little team with us you know on this particular expedition we had a wildlife guide who knew the national parks knew the areas we had a couple of well effectively sherpas who helped carry all of our equipment and, and pitch our mm. tents at night and we had a cook with us which wow. sounds, and that <laughs> sounds great doesn't it but he was literally kind of picking stuff from the mountain sides and <gasps> cooking up for us at night so yeah we had a little team of four on that but it varied sometimes literally just the two of us and sometimes we'd have these little teams of people to kind of help us get to where we needed to be. Imagine, yes, yeah. we're up in the Himalayas, <laughs> looking at snow leopards, thinking, right, it's just you and me. Yeah. I'm just thinking of me and my daughter <laughs> taking me and my daughter going up to the Himalayas, being like, right, we have no phone signal, we have no anything, we're just going <laughs> to... Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, amazing opportunities that we have. Yes. <laughs> uh, right, this one is the square panel yeah. now, that we this, were mentioning. This is the one that last time when we brought it to the show sold out. We didn't even get to the start of the... Oh, it was, it was sold out gone before. before the show. Right, if you so, want it, you can get it now. So now, yes, oh. you have another chance. And you can see why, can't you? You've got all of those images of the big cats on there. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Look at that. We've got the lion on here as well that we haven't mentioned, the white tiger, the snow leopard. So, yeah, all on there. The, the the lion, I yes. mean, uh, that's it, it, exceptional in itself. I think it changes it completely when I'm looking at pictures that I know you and Pollyanna as uh, Pollyanna has seen and spent time with. Well, he was a little rescued lion uh, rescued really? by the Born Free Foundation. Pollyanna was a patron of theirs for many many years. And we flew out to a wonderful sanctuary they have in South Africa called Shamwari. And Sinbad was a little lion who'd actually been rescued, believe it or not, from the sort of rooftop of a car park in Romania, where he'd been kept in a really tiny little cage just for people to kind of go and see. It's a very strange place to have a lion, isn't it? But he'd had this, this unfortunately very horrible start to life just in this concrete, you know, cage. And he'd been flown out to this beautiful sanctuary so when we got there, he'd just been released into this huge enclosure that we'd raised funds to help build. Oh. And of course, Pollyanna sat there and sketched our little rescued Sinbad. Sinbad. Yes, oh. Sinbad the lion. Gorgeous. Uh, do we have the lion panel, out of curiosity? Is it ending in 86? <laughs> I'll have a look and see if I can find it. Yeah, we do. Um, well. There's your 40 panel square, the, your 40 squares, though, if you do want a, a little bit of taste of each of them. Uh, I've got Sinbad the lion here. Is that him? Look at him. And look, you can see there the difference of the light. That's the light in Africa that's shining on his fur, and you can just see, yes. Oh. And he was actually adorable because... <laughs> In a way, in a bad way, but because he'd had such a horrendous start in life and he hadn't had the best nutrition and so on, although he's such a beautiful lion, his growth had been a little bit stunted, so, so he's got really like short little legs, oh. so it was like a little kind of little pocket lion. Oh. <laughs> it was just adorable, but still got those stunning, noble features and those incredible eyes. Oh, and look at that mane. I know. And like you said, it's the light that's shining it is, on his it face. Is. And that is his natural habitat. He was in Africa 
with that glorious sunshine and he had grass under his feet and he was able oh. to, yes, kind of roam and explore as he was supposed to do. Oh, so. <laughs> love that. What a great story as well. I'll definitely get this one. He's gorgeous. Fourteen ninety nine. Now is your chance to grab these whilst you can. Um, I believe we've only got one other. Sorry for keeping you just <laughs> oh, slightly overrun. over. We there's have so overrun. Much to talk about there's so much. Oh, to see. we, like, we uh, need to do a day with you. <laughs> we could, couldn't we? <laughs> just talking about these stories, <laughs> honestly. Um, right, I have here. What have I got? Oh, oh the tiger in the... Yes, we touched dark. on the, the Siberian tiger, the Amur tiger, where we travelled to the Russian Far East. And I say, you thought it was cold when you woke up this morning. <laughs> we hit minus 60 on that. Yes, I did say 60. 60? 60, 60 minus 60. It is a harsh environment that these guys live in. <laughs> oh, my word. I was um, like, it is minus two today. Yes. This is yes. horrendous. So I shouldn't be complaining about that, but no. I still am. <laughs> I still am. But, but it was well worth it. It was well worth all that suffering. And yes, we suffered on that trip. But to see these incredible tigers, one of the world's most highly endangered species, and we were lucky enough to see them in the wild so that Pollyanna could sketch them. Oh, do you think you'll, you'll do any more of these trips where you can go and photograph them? Well, I have been because I still clearly work running the foundation. Yeah. Um, I've been lucky enough to be invited out to go and see some of the projects that we've worked on. Um, so I have been into um, Kenya not too long ago to see one of the lion projects we've been working with. I've been invited to go up to see snow leopards again by oh. the snow leopard foundation we I'll bought some you. remote cameras <laughs> you might regret that oh. <laughs> <laughs> you say that sounds lovely <laughs> do you ever get there and there there aren't any oh yeah all yeah. the time i mean that's one thing about watching wildlife um what we kind of bring you here is the highlights you get to yeah. see the bit yeah. where we saw the animal there will be days if not weeks where we're just sitting there because it's wildlife it's not necessarily yeah. going to be where it's supposed to be yeah but in that time Pollyanna would still be constantly sketching and working because I mean if we go back to even like the owl here she would be seeing you know the poppies the things in the environment because she knew they were going to be an important part of mm. the work she did as well mm -hmm. so even when the animal itself wasn't there she would still be yeah busy recording things it's honestly been absolutely magnificent to meet you and thank you so much for bringing in the originals as well for us to look at and I mean it's, it's just been the most amazing hour hasn't it I wish you could stay longer it's been um, an absolute pleasure thank you rather than everybody who managed to secure something I know that lots of us have probably been just sitting listening to <laughs> Anna Louise and taking in all of the stories so now is your chance to go back through during the break and check out is there anything that you want to give a stock warning on, Ben, before we go to the break? All of it. All of it. <laughs> the book, are there any of the a brush? No, the brush with wildlife, the Eye of the Tiger book? The might be okay, availability. So no brush with wildlife, so no. forget about that. But yes. Maybe this. The Eye of the Tiger, you might be able to get the what? I will be signing them all. <gasps> oh, you're signing them as well. I forgot I to even am. mention that. I will be, so whether you want Thank it you. signing or not, it will be signed. Thank you. Um, calendars, Ben? Canvases. I think we've sold out of both of the calendars. Sorry. Okay, no, There's I'm not some canvases. Surprised. Anyway, yes. have a look on the website during yeah. the break. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank Please you. do come back and see us in the I'd new year. I'd love to. Thank I you. Um, right, we're going to get Tracy back on air in just a moment with Owl and the Sewing Cats with, again, amazing reductions and our dressmaking this time around. So stay where you are. Enjoy all these panels. Make the most of them. Check out during the break on anything you can. I'd hate for you to miss out again, so please do make the most of it, and we will see you right after this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jo Carter, and I'm a soft toy designer, and I quilt as well. I've been sewing for as long as I can remember. My great-grandma, my nana, my mum all sewed, and so it's something I grew up around. If I was to give some advice to a new sewer, somebody who wanted to try it, um, that would be to watch a few tutorials, but then to just give it a go. Um, and try not to focus on achieving the perfect end result. Instead, at first, oh, well, always focus on enjoying the process and learning a new skill. So, so those perfect results will come in time. 
but developing a love for sewing I think is a really great way to go. And a tip I've been given that I still use today is make sure you have plenty of seam rippers. It's frustrating enough if you have to remove some stitches, but then if you can't lay your hands on a seam ripper and you have to hunt around for one, that makes it doubly frustrating. Um, so yes, plenty of seam rippers would be my um, go-to tip. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. We're proud to have some of the most skilled and experienced experts in the industry. They're brought to you here every day on Sewing Street. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? 
then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hello, welcome back. I am feeling ready for Christmas. I was saying earlier on, I thought, right, we're going to have a nice, relaxing Saturday morning this morning. And it's just been full on. There has been so many amazing deals. Um, and it doesn't stop there. We have got Alan the Sewing Cat back, lovely Tracy. Uh, I must say, I love how Tracy brings us almost like a, um, uh, not just a, a workshop, like a whole course of dressmaking and this couldn't be a better time it's perfect time to start a new hobby maybe you're thinking in January I want to go on a dressmaking course and you've looked into it and it's a lot of money or it's a bit too far to get to or you're thinking I don't know whether I, I can commit to doing six weeks back to back on a Wednesday night because x y and z so what I love about this is that you have got a whole sort of wardrobe full of great makes that you're going to wear that you will wear. You're not going to be making a corset or things that you might not be wearing every day. Well, um, but it's a capsule wardrobe. You've got coatigan, you've got a cardigan, you've got a lovely drape top. You've got another top, which you're going to be able to do in different fabrics and have it as like a capsule wardrobe. But each one, you're going to learn different things. Each one, you might be working with different fabrics. Each one, you're going to learn something else. So it is like going on a whole course learning to dress make. And you can do it as a complete beginner. If you're an expert, you're going to whiz through these. Um, you know that when we have the Alan the Sewing Cat here, that there are different ways that you can get involved. If you prefer to work from... Uh, paper patterns that are printed out that are there for you ready to go we've done a massive bundle for you so we have five patterns here really because you get four of your dressmaking and then you get a bonus pattern which is for free so here I've got the Amelia top which we'll show you we've got them here in the studio in fact Tracy's going to wear them and show you them what, what they look like on as well but we'll go through all of this with Tracy I love that you've got this washer on the back and it's in a really lovely um, envelope sort of pack so those of you that have bought a dressmaking pattern before different companies you know they often come in little paper packets that as soon as you cut up your pattern you, you're trying to shove it back into uh, a smaller uh, pack that it just doesn't really fit in it ends up getting ruined and you don't end up using it again the great thing is is this is going to keep everything nice and safe nice and organized and you can use it time and time again so you've got in here your Amelia top which is size 10 to 28 you've also got your cocoon cardigan really easy to wear lovely um, sort of drop shoulders perfect with your jersey fabric going to be great with lots of colors just easy to wear every single day you've got your cardigan as well doesn't take up too much fabric either. <clears throat> I mean, just over two metres of fabric and you're going to be able to make yourself a really lovely coat, coatigan. Love that. You've then also got your Lexi top pattern. Again, sizes 10 to 28. Again, in the lovely big folder, all your pattern paper is there. It's printed out. It's ready to go. Um, and as you can see, it's not on flimsy tissue. It is on nice thick pattern paper which you're going to be able to reuse each size 
is labelled with different dashes or very, very clearly as well. I know there's lots of patterns and they're all overlapping and you struggle to see unless you've got a really big, you know, <laughs> if you've got a, your magnifying glasses, which sizes are which, but it's all nice and clear if you want to cut this straight out or fold it over, whichever you prefer to work, however you prefer to work. So you've got all of those which are to size and all of your instructions which we shall go through. Now, as I said, you also get a bonus one. If you're getting this, you get a free clutch bag pattern as well. All of your instructions and pattern pieces are in there. Now, if you got them all individually, it would cost £65.46. Today, £49.99, just because it's Christmas at Sewing Street. Um, definitely the best way to get involved. As I said, how much would it cost you to go on a whole course where you're learning to make a coat again, a top, um, your Lexi top, to be able to have clothes that fit you and know that they fit you well, as well as learning a new skill and a new hobby, then this is perfect. I'll ask about, you know, different things. Do I need an overlocker? Do I need a cover stitch machine? I know lots of these you'll be able to do just with your basic sewing machine that you've got at home. Um, and that's a brilliant price. In fact, Tracy's over there right now with all the clothes. Hello, Tracy. <laughs> so what have you got? Uh, what are you wearing? Are you, are you wearing the cocoon cardigan? Yes, so I've got the cocoon cardigan on, which nice. you can see, it's a nice length. It's the kind of thing that you have sort of as loungewear or just as that extra layer at this time of year. You sort of make it in a nice, soft, flowy fabric. You could... Um, We've made it in a rib jersey here, yeah. um, but because it's not a tight fitting garment, we don't need to use any special jersey needles or stretch stitch because we're just having it as a lounge wear, comfortable style throw on sort of cardigan. So yeah, that's the cocoon cardigan. And then underneath I've got the Lexi top on, which is the same as this one here. So we've done it in, again, floaty viscose fabric. The prints are very different and they make it look so different. You could even make it in sort of a, a denim fabric if you want to. It's got a lovely little stand up collar it's not a difficult one to do at all we put nice little cuffs on the end as well so you've got a few different details on there that if you are new to dressmaking you want to learn a few techniques or brush up on some techniques this is a nice kind of project for doing that so that's the cocoon cardigan that I'm wearing the same as the navy one we've got here at the front and then this one is the Lexi top that I'm wearing so the other styles that we've got within the collection we've got the Amelia top which you'll see here which is the lovely drape top this is such a simple make hopefully we'll get a chance to show this one I love You've got side seam, uh, shoulder seams here and then a little side seam here. And because of that style, it just falls off your shoulder. Really flattering. So it doesn't matter your shape or size. It suits all shapes and sizes. And, and does that mean you don't have around. sleeves to inset? or Exactly. Yeah. There's no sleeves to it at all. Just a nice drapey thing. So we're not going to get hot and sweaty. We're not going to feel tight and restrained. It doesn't matter if we're changing shape and size a little bit. We've put it with a fabric belt, which the instructions show you how to do. But you could jazz that up with a nice glitzy belt, put a leather belt with it if you want to. We'll just have it as a loose hanging T-shirt. The important thing, it's going to cover those areas areas that we kind of want to sometimes like our bottoms and things yeah so that's the Amelia top it's the same one that we're looking at here in the blue as well exactly the same so it's kind of a nice alternative to a t-shirt sometimes but also I feel this one here is the kind of thing that I wear on Christmas day or out to a Christmas mm -hmm. party you know you can jazz it up as, as you wish or just wear it with a long sleeve t-shirt underneath and jeans if you're doing a casual lunch so that's our Amelia top and then we've also got our coat again been really popular it's the collar on here that's really lovely it's really right. flattering around the neck it's got pockets in the sides too it's not a difficult make to do it we haven't lined it we've done it as an unlined coat again it's just kind of like it's like it's like the description is really in between a cardigan and a coat one of those extra layers that you might want to put on at this time of year we never really know do we it can be right cold outside now but this moment you go into a hot house or into a restaurant you never really know what the temperature is going to be like whereas something like this I think you can wear it, it doesn't look like you've got your outdoor coat on you've just got that extra layer on. Have you done that in a wool? Yeah I've cool. done it in a wool we've yeah. seen it in tweed fabrics yeah. as well um, so yeah just that kind of wintry fabric but you could do it in a fleece if you wanted to the mannequins we've got here are a bit big for I'm afraid but it is edge to edge so it does finish at the middle so you could have it with a brooch on the middle or one of those nice clasps if you want to Lovely. but again we're looking at styles that were just as suitable for dog walking for popping out for lunch or for going out in the evening you could wear something like this just as an extra layer on on top um, if you're buying the whole collection all of these patterns any of them they're all going to be size 10 to 28 you're going to get all those sizes included that's whether you're buying it as a printed pattern or on a usb it's always going to be size 10 to 28 and if you buy it as the collection so you're going to get all of this capsule wardrobe together 
you're going to get the extra good. bonus. Which Sorry to interrupt you, but a lot of patterns they do sizes 8 to 14 and then 14 to 20. So to have sizes 10 to 28, I yep. mean, that is so inclusive. Yeah, because people also find that they're in the middle of the size. We yeah. don't really know, or should I go small or big? Yeah. You don't really know. So we're just going to give you all the sizes. None of the pattern pieces overlap. There's no tracing off to do. And particularly if you're buying it on a USB, that you're going to save the most money. You can get the whole collection for 38.99. Um, you can print it as many times as you want. You can print it and cut a size 10, you can print it again and cut a size 18. It doesn't matter, you're gonna have the ability to do that. Size 10, size 28, printed or USB. And would you um, recommend to measure, measure yourself for each of the garments? Um, you know, if, if for example, you think, right, I go into Mark Suspenses and I am at X size. Yes. Would you still encourage people to measure themselves? Yeah, I mean, once you've done a few of our patterns, you'll see it's really simple because our sizes are more kind of small, medium, large, extra large. So there's the grade is a, a small covers a size 10 and 12. But with each of these patterns, there's a size chart in there. Even on the USB, there's a size chart. So you can check, but we've got realistic sizing. Yeah. I know what it's like. Yeah. We go into the high street and we're one size. And if we go to use commercial patterns, sometimes they can be much, much smaller. Yeah. Um, and it's really frustrating. Yeah. But, you know... But I think this is why a lot of people get into dressmaking. It's yeah. because you go into one shop and you could be one size, you walk into the next shop and your two sizes is different. Exactly. So just to be able to get something that fits, and we're not all exactly the same. You could be larger on the bottom than you are at the top. So to be able to just... You yep. know, make sure that there is something that fits you. Ignore the numbers on it. It doesn't matter. You want it to be able to fit. Absolutely. You're not trying to prove anything to anybody. No. You just want it to be able to be comfortable. Yeah. And everything that we've designed, I've designed it with a lot of time and effort to make sure that we don't have... It's not fitted. We don't have darts. We don't have zips. So it doesn't matter if our weight fluctuates or, you know, Comfy. these styles, mm -hmm. like the one I'm wearing, it hangs off the shoulder. That's where it is. If you want to tie that in around the waist, you can do it. If you want to tuck it into a pair of jeans, you can as well. Or you can wear it just as a loose fitting. So they're going to fit to your body shape. So we're making the fabrics fit to us with the cutting of the pattern rather than having to do difficult darts and, mm. you know, say zips and all that fitting. We've taken the fitting out and more um, making clothes that look nice and stylish but they're easy to make and they're most importantly comfortable to wear because that's yeah. what we want isn't it we want yeah. to be comfortable we want yeah. to look like we've made an effort but we want to be able to eat especially that's this it. time of year we want to eat all those chocolates yeah <laughs> that's it and it's lovely to be able to have you know ones that you're going to be able to make again in different fabrics i've seen so many lovely patterns of occasion dresses and things and you think right i'm going to use that pattern once and i'm making it for a special wedding whereas the fact that you've got all of these different patterns that you're going to be able to use time and time again and enjoy the fabric side of it, finding the right fabrics for uh, for the projects. And they're all fabrics that you might already have in your stash, or you could easily get from here or for, from uh, from out, you know, other shops as well, fabric shops. For example, the cardigan jersey fabrics. Um, it does give you recommendations, but you could use cotton lawn, viscose jersey for your Amelia Drake top. You've got the Cotagon, which um, I know Tracy recommends wool or suiting fabrics, Pontaroma, jersey. There's lots of different options. Um, now, also, which one have you got on so there? I just thought I put the Cotagon on so you could see what, the, what that one's like. Okay, so it's, it's kind like of edge that. to edge. It's simple but stylish, isn't it? You can wear it with a big jumper underneath. You can wear yeah. a big scarf with it. You could put a you know, big brooch on it if you wanted to. You could put fancy clips on the front. But it's the collar that I think is really flattering. And you've got pockets as well, and I love pockets. So handy. I think it's oh, yeah. really frustrating Everything's we haven't got pockets. And I've made them nice big pockets. Because I know sometimes if we shop on the high street to save money, they make these small pockets and our phones fall out all the time. So just make sure that you've got, um, when you're making it yourself, you have nice patterns like this with big pockets in them. Nice. Now, you do, are making a saving if you're getting all of them. You've also got your option of having them on a USB. Did you hear about our USB deal as well, which is brilliant today? So, USB, this is um, pattern collection number two. So, you've got all of the ones that we've seen here, which, if you've got the space, if you've got a, a place where you like to keep all your paper patterns, go for the paper pattern option. If you prefer to have them <clears throat> all digitally, where you pick out maybe the Amelia top for this month or 
Maybe you're thinking, right, in a couple of months, I'm going to start this one or I'm going to gift this to someone. I'm going to send this in the post to somebody. Then as a gift, then that is perfect. Um, we talked about USB patterns earlier on that lots of our computers or devices, yes, I've got a USB port. If it doesn't, you can easily access um, an adapter for your computer just online where it's a little box that you can put your USB in and it will still plug straight into your computer. Um, so hopefully we are not discounting anybody in this option of having a space saving option, but also an option of just reading the pattern on your laptop or on your iPad or on your phone or wherever you are, sending them to a friend instead of having to, you know, have the paper pattern that you loan to someone and don't get back. So I do like the idea of having that option. Maybe there's a part of it that got damaged and you think, oh, really? Or, or you've cut into it by accident. You can just print it out as many times as you want. If it's the coast again and you think, oh, I made that years ago. I can't remember how to do this or I can't find the pattern pieces. I can't find the right size or I'm a different size and I already chopped it up. You've got the option of printing it again. It's not going to go out of date. Um, so you have got the option. Now, also, can I just very quickly mention, Ben, that if you then want to add in another one of these USBs, there are now 18 to choose from. Have a look underneath us on the web. If you add another one of those and then you'll get 25% off today. So... What you want to do, scroll down on the website underneath us. Today's show deals, it's all underneath us. Past all the Pollyanna Pickering panels into Tracy's first hour. Here we go. They're all of the different USBs. If you click on them, you'll see the patterns that are on there. But there are Christmas ones. There are more dressmaking ones. There are craft ones as well. If you add in just one more, if you add more than one to your basket, then you'll get 25% off. There you go. The multi by saving already sort of automatically is applied as you add to your basket. Definitely make the most of that whilst you can. Lots of people loving that. But we are working with pattern collection number two today. <clears throat> so, demo. Demo, yes. So We have them all thought... available individually, by the way, patterns, but it's fabulous value to get the lot, isn't Yeah, it? you're saving money. Plus, you're getting that freebie um, clutch bag as well. So it's worth it, especially if you're buying on the USB, then it's... Um... I love that Amelia drape top. It looks it's lovely. nice, isn't it? It's just a simple, easy one. Let me take the cardigan off. So this is the cocoon cardigan that we're wearing. But I'll slip it off so you can see. Um, so for me, I like to cover my upper arms. So yeah, I like that too. sleeve length. Um, and yeah, and then you've just um, got a nice belt tie there that you can do and then drape it. I've got top underneath, so it's a bit difficult to see. Um, yeah, but it's going to be the easiest make ever. And you can just have the really nice, once you've got your patterns, have the really lovely job of going out looking for these <gasps> amazing fabrics. What fabric is this? It's, it's is nice, it a, isn't it? A it's like a viscose, yeah. It's a digital print of viscose. It's wow. a new one that we've got in for our club members. So yeah, really nice. But that's the fun part. You know, there's loads around. I know you've got loads on your website as mm. well. So you want a nice drapey fabric like this. Not expensive, doesn't take a lot of fabric either, and it will tell you on the front of the fabric, uh, front of the pattern rather, how much fabric they need. So you can make these tops really quite cheaply, and you can make them look so different by just changing up the fabrics. I like that you can make them so quickly as well. You know, you said it yeah. about a Christmas party or a, an event that you're going to. How much time do you spend <laughs> trailing around shops going, oh, I don't know what to wear? Everything looks the same in these shops that I don't know, or, or trying things on in your wardrobe. I'm at that point at the moment. I had the Gem Poria ball last week. I was like, I have nothing to wear. What shall I wear? And just to be able to say, right, well, I can make something. Give yourself a couple of hours. Yeah, we all know what sort of style yeah. suit us. So yeah. we just want basic, easy to wear things yeah. like this that you can literally just throw on. Love you it. know what colours. So, you know, we're, we're trying to search the high street for something that is the style that we like and the fabric that we like and the length yep. that we like just make it yourself yeah going online is just as frustrating i found i like the well, length so. of this actually like you said it just covers your bum slightly doesn't yes, it it covers the exactly. top of your um, all the bits trousers. that we're going to worry about and because it's curved at the front it's quite flattering even if you don't have the belt with it it's just that flattering style so it's drawing our attention away from those areas yeah. that we are yeah. <laughs> worried about generally <laughs> yes so what we're going to do is we've got a front and back panel and we're going to put those two together okay front and back on top of each other so you can see the shape like that and i'm lining up here which is going to be our shoulder seam now because it's floaty it means that it's going to move so i'm just going to put a few more extra pins i mean normally would you don't need to tack or anything on here and even if you're stitching i know i say it all the time but if your stitching's a bit wobbly these styles are so forgiving that it really won't matter my stitching is very wobbly 
at times. So make sure you've got your raw edges together. If you've got an overlocker, yes, you can do all of these on an overlocker, but you don't need to. You can just do it on a regular sewing machine. No, we're not for any of these designs. You don't okay. need anything fancy. You don't need any special needles or any special threads. Just a regular sort of size 80 needle would be fine. It'd be even quicker though if you have got a yeah, if you've got an overlocker, much But you can construct it on this, or um, would you just finish the... You could do most of it. Um, to do the belt, uh, to do where the belt ties through, we actually make buttonholes to do that. Oh, nice. So we do large buttonholes. So you would need to do that on a sewing machine. Um, and your hemming you would need to do um, on a sewing machine. You could overlock the raw edge and then turn it under and machine mm -hmm. it. Um, whereas if you've got a sewing machine, we'll turn it under and under again. Yeah, I'll show you in a bit. So like that, that's the shoulder seam. So I'm just going to stitch here and the same on the other side. So one centimetre seam allowance is always included in the pattern. So you don't need to add anything on or worry about that. If you're buying the printed patterns, they are just ready to go. Just cut out your size. Like we said, there'll be a size chart included and size 10 to 18. And we've purposely picked styles that are going to suit all those sizes. So there's not, it's not like, oh, it wouldn't look good on me because I'm a bigger size or a smaller size. It doesn't matter. This drapes off your shoulders and then belts in at the waist or you have it, f have it just flowing down, whichever you prefer to do. If you're making for somebody then, you don't need to worry too much about, oh, is it going to fit them? Is it going to yeah. work? It's nice to make yeah. for other people. And it's so frustrating when you do make something and it doesn't fit you. So that's why we've done it this way. So that the sizes are... Uh, you, the designs kind of work off your shape, will naturally fall off your shoulders and, yeah. and straight down, rather than tailored and fit in. And also it makes it more comfortable to wear, doesn't it, when we have these easy wear tops. And it's the kind of thing that's all over the high shoots, you know, all over the catwalks. I mean, they're not... It's, um, we're not having a lot, seeing a lot of tailoring at the moment, are we? We all want sort of nice, comfy clothes. <laughs> yes. I think, it, yeah, I think I do think fashion has changed so much since um, lockdown. Yeah. All want to be comfy. All yeah. used to be comfy. And can you imagine going back to the 1940s when there were these nice... No. I mean, they looked absolutely amazing, these big dresses. And, but they were wearing that for every day. Mm. It's no good when you clean out your fridge and no! running for a bus or whatever <laughs> you're doing, is it? <laughs> um, right, so I've done those two shoulder seams here, which are the seams that go from there. So you would then need to neaten those. So on a um, normal machine, you do an overcast and stitch. All machines have an overcast and stitch now. What does um, that look like? Does it look like an overlocking finish? Yes, it yeah. kind of come straight down and then it kind of neatens the edges like that. If you're new to it, I haven't done a lot, we have got a blog on it, so go to alanandsewingcat.com, okay. um, look at the blogs. It's just free information there. It's just nice. free stuff that we give out, how to cut out your patterns, how to neaten the raw edges, um, how to work with viscose floaty fabrics if you haven't worked with it before, because we really want everyone to enjoy these. And not, yeah. I know sometimes if you haven't done dressmaking, it can be a bit intimidating, but these are really easy, <laughs> honestly. Um, that's our shoulder seam done so that's dead easy so we'd neaten that as we say with an overlocking then we would uh, go around and neaten the whole bottom edge now so this is all our hemming and you do that by either overlocking that and then you could just turn it under once or you could turn it under and turn it under again by a centimeter and machine all the way around it's a curved edge so i would suggest pressing it first use that steam on your iron and just go all the way around like that okay do i'll just do a little bit to show you so down and over like that and then you just stitch close to that edge okay and this is just just your hemming so just take a bit of time to go all the way around you would press that with your iron first but you can see we're stitching then close to that edge so the whole thing would be hemmed nice then the other thing we've got to do is our side seam now on this it's just a very small side seam it's marked on the pattern so there's no, um, no worrying about that at all. And all it is, is we're just going to stitch from here to here. So we've got our right sides together still, right sides of your fabric facing each other. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stitch down those two lines. You only need, because we're laying one on top of the other, I've marked it just on this top panel. And this is just from here oh, yeah. down to there. That's all we're doing. Because there's no, as you say, there's no sleeves that we have to set in or worry about. And that's what gives it the nice mm. drapiness, makes it easy to wear. So do that side and then the other side. Like I want this in a sequin Sorry, fabric. Yeah, that would be, be nice. So nice. Actually, do you know what? I've done it the wrong way around. We're going to actually flip the fabric over. We need to do this right sides together. Sorry. Ah, okay. Bear with me. 
flip that one over. I'm so used to everything's normally on the wrong, wrong side. side. It's yeah. unusual to do it on the right side. So bear with me, I'll just pin that in and that will give us a shape. You go for me. So you can mark it with just like Taylor's chalk or a vanishing marker pen if you've got one, or you could pin it. It's all marked on the pattern to show you. So you don't need to um, worry about it. It will all be there. So just transfer those lines over. And obviously the further out they go, for the, it will be for the bigger sizes. Okay. And then we just do a straight line from that pin all the way down to the hem. And that's our side seam. Oh, I'm excited to go fabric shopping now. This is a good bit, <laughs> yeah, isn't it? It's it is. What fabric do you want to use? Yeah. Because once otherwise... you've made it once. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. We have, see it all the time. People come back over and over again. They've made it and show us photos, which is lovely. Do you do this as a workshop? No, I'm not doing workshops at the moment because we're concentrating on the designs. Yeah. That takes so long. We've got yeah. so many new, exciting ones coming next year. Fab. Um, so no, but, and also we found because the instructions are so straightforward, people yeah. would sit in the workshop and just work through the steps anyway. That's so it. It, was, it was really was that easy. So we've put all that information online now as well for the, um, great for, or, so on the blog posts of sort of tips and techniques that we can share with you. And um, yeah, like you say, just go out and enjoy the process of, of buying the fabric when you know you've got these nice designs that you're going to be making. And there's so many lovely fabrics on the market, aren't there now, for dressmaking? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This would be really lovely to do with a friend. So if you say, right, let's... I mean, you're making a, um, a saving on this anyway, because they would... If you buy them individually, which they are available underneath, it'd be £65.46, to be exact. So you're getting a great saving. And if, say, me and my friend wanted to do dressmaking, and we say, right, let's both put £25 in each... We get all these patterns. We can have craft along afternoons, yeah, and and make our and make our pieces together. That'd be so nice, wouldn't it? Really lovely. Sunday, uh, every Sunday, a couple of hours in the afternoon, and you're making things together. Yeah, really nice. Really nice. Okay, so that's our side seams done. The neckline you would need it in exactly the same way that we were talking about. So you would fold that under or overlock it under and under again. So because it's a curved edge, you want it nice and small. So the easiest way is going to be to neaten that edge and then just turn it under once, which is what I've done on the top that I'm wearing. I'm mm -hmm. sheen that all the way around. Okay, our side seams are done. So the only other thing, and, and we'd imagine that, the, um, imagine that the hem's all done on there. So most of this work in this top is the hemming, really. Hemming all the way around to that curved edge, just like I showed you. And then we want to, if we put in the tie, we're going to want to have two buttonholes. This is the easiest way of doing it, through here. And then we can thread the belt through. And then that's what gathers that top up Love it. as I'm wearing it. So buttonholes are going to be, um, are going to vary depending on your machine. Let's see how we go with time. I could what machine are you, you working on? I'm working on the Brother. This is the MV2700. I've not seen that one. Have you not? Have we got well, that here? I believe you have. Have we? Oh I've certainly God. done it before I've it so on the show. I don't know if you've got it in stock because I know right. it's sold out before because it is, does the embroidery and sewing. <gasps> it cuts all the threads for you as you go along. <gasps> so, yeah, we Oh, I did think. This looks a fancy machine, Tracy. Yes. I yes. love a brother. I know that you love brother yeah. uh, machines. I always and... use brother machine here. Yeah, because it's just so easy to... Um, so does that machine with. have a great array of buttonholes, I bet? It's yeah, it does. Buttonholes. So you're just going to want a big buttonhole, OK? And that's all that is. OK. And then that threads through. Right, nice. Nice, simple. And that way it can adjust um, for your top. So let's pop it on the mannequin. I know we've got a male mannequin here. Excuse that. Hopefully it'll fit on. Um, because we've run out of mannequins. But you can't get the idea. Yeah. So you can see already. It how the sleeves just find me a bit this way a little bit. There you go. So that's your floaty sleeves. Gorgeous. Like so you'd hem that and hem all the way around. And if you wanted to add the belt, it's an option and extra. You just put your two buttonholes. It's all marked on the pattern telling you exactly where to go. And then the buttonholes then yeah. thread the tie through and wrap that in like that. Or you could just have it as a floaty top. You could tuck that in. But you're making a fabric work and you're making it fall in the top. Mm -hmm. it's not and flatter so you can see why we've included up to size 28 because it's going to look just as good on a size 28 as absolutely it would on a size 10 so whatever your size is going to do that it's lovely for the summer but even now you could put a long sleeve top underneath or like i had it earlier with that coat again on top or the cocoon cardigan on top as well this time of year either of those so they're going to work really nicely together 
as a collection and Gorgeous. just enjoy the, making the fabric work. Yeah, I love that. Absolutely <laughs> love it. Um, that is part of the collection. That's the Amelia Drape Top. If you want the Amelia Drape Top on its own, by the way, it is also available. Um, they come in these really lovely folders where you keep everything nice and neat. Uh, full instructions. Let me show you, just so anybody who's not worked with any of Tracy's instructions, obviously, you can watch back this show at any point where you've got lots of great tips. And there are loads of great blog posts on the owl and the sewing cat. You're not just buying a project today. You're joining a community where there's lots of great blog posts, lots of social media, and, um, and of course, you can contact Tracy and her team um, if you need any help. So you've got all of your step-by-step -step instructions here. Um, there is also, of course, as we've mentioned before, the monthly subscription if you want to, um, to, to make the most of that. Here's your size chart. And then you also have to scale all of your pattern pieces. It's printed on really big paper as well. So um, it, you're not having to, to, to join anything up. It's all there for you. Print, cut, what I would do is cut out the larger side and fold it in. Would you? Or would you cut to your size? Because... Really, we don't really vary that much in size. So our small is size 10 to 12. And okay. I, so we normally only go up and down one size. So normally one size will cover you. Yeah. As we saw on this, it's just draping off the sleeve. The worst case scenario on something like this is if you cut the smallest, smaller size, just unpick that and just do another line of stitch right. a bit further out and then it's... But Give you a bit more room. We've been generous with the sizing. The size chart is really good to help you as yep. well. And we're really consistent with our sizing. So you're not going to find when you're switching to si um, different designs that you have to worry about that. Uh, it, it is fabulous that you've got right from a size 10 um, d up to a size 28. Uh, all in one pattern. It's all there. And of course, all of these available as well on Pattern Collection 2 which is your USB. Um, the USBs are brilliant because you can select the size that you want. You print out your own pattern. You can, if you want, print out your instructions or you can leave it on your tablet um, and, uh, and just work on it from there. And today is the best day because look, we've got 18 collections, not just the dressmaking, we've got the crafting projects, we've also got um, the bag making, there is Christmas projects in there as well, and if you buy a second of the USBs, you get 25% off. The value for money, bearing in mind, look, all of these paper patterns, obviously, they cost money to be printed and to be put into the folders for you, you're already making a saving, it's supposed to be £64 for all of the patterns, we put that down to £49.99, but your USB with all of those same patterns, it's just 38 99 So not only is it space saving, it's also saving you money. And it means then you can be maybe a little bit more selective of when you want to do it, um, how you want to, 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 to um, you know, work on your laptop or on your tablet or where you're taking it with you. It might just be a little bit more portable. £38.99. And when you're printing out patterns, I must say, because they are big pieces, Yes. how easy is it to construct our pattern pieces together? Dead easy. Okay. okay. So I'll show you. Edit. So the whole point is we're trying to avoid this. We've ah, all done it. Absolutely, yes. You buy you it. You can't get you it back in. You can't get it back in. You only ever use it once, don't you? Yeah. Because it tears and then you, and it's annoying because you've got, maybe gotten a nice style that you like. I really want you to be able to use these styles over and over again. So if you're buying it, like we were saying earlier, like that, string and washer put all your pieces back in there heavy juicy paper so you can use it over and over again if you're doing it on usb even better you're saving money and you can print it as many times as you want if your pattern gets a bit tatty just reprint it so when you print it you may have seen me shown earlier but what happens is we've got two files in there one's got the um, instructions and the other file has got the um uh, patterns in there so your instructions you can print them all out if you want to as we were shown earlier they are full color photographs because that makes it easier for when you follow um, we've got written and photographs so it depends if you're a visual learner or if you like to be reading we've kind of done both cover both areas so those instructions are there you don't need to print them off if you don't want to you can work off your ipad next to you or off your phone or laptop um, or you can print them whichever you prefer um, so we've separated them out. So when it comes to printing, you will need to print your pattern. So you just select. So this is the clutch bag, which is the freebie that comes on the USB. It also comes as free if you buy in the collection as printed patterns as well. But this is the freebie one. So you can see this would be the first page that would come up. You select the file and you press print. You don't have to do anything else. 
You don't need to change the print settings or anything at all. You would print it. The first page that would come out is this one, which is what we call our cover, and that's on all of the patterns. So I can see from this one, it's a very simple one because it's the clutch bag. We've got six pieces of paper. Okay. What will follow is the six pieces of paper. It will automatically print them out. So I've got the bottom two here, which is, if I look at the bottom here, five and six, I've got pages five, it's written there, nice big numbers, and six here. So I need to join these two together, ah. like the diagram shows me on okay. here. Okay, so five and six, so I'm going to take six. We've got this border that's already done on there for you. Fold that over along that dotted line, line that up. What we want to do is to line up these marks here so that they match up. And then just put some tape across that. Okay, and build it up. So that's five and six, and then the others that we've done before are like this. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Obviously, when you're dressmaking, because of the size of the pattern, particularly, particularly going to a size 28, you will need more yeah. paper, um, more pattern pieces, but the guide's going to be exactly the same. It will tell you how many rows across and how many rows down, and you literally just print it and yeah, tape you, it together. Use, and you can just use the cheapest, you know, recyclable exactly. paper. Yeah. yeah, any paper that you've got, um, you can then... Um, the, you can see on here that it's not printing lots of colour, so it's really cheap to run. Most of the paper is black and white, yeah. it is white rather, and then you've just got these odd bits of black on there. So it's not yeah. going to use a lot of ink, we yeah. don't need to worry about the ink price. Um, yeah, just print that out and then right. you can reprint it as many times as you want. Love that. Yep, you do get your free clutch as well, whether you're purchasing it printed out or with your USB collection to USB, which remember is 38 99 If you buy another one, it will be... Even cheaper. Um, it's definitely, for me, the way to go. If you do want to uh, save space and also save time. I mean, you can literally have a look on your iPad, have a bit of a flick through, have a read through when you're on the train home from somewhere and then just get going when you get home. It's brilliant. Hi, Vic. Could Tracy... Hi, Vic and Tracy. Could this top be made in a t-shirt material asked yes Terry. i've made one myself and it was really lovely i mean i was lucky enough to get it, it was like an aubergine color um, and it was a silk jersey actually oh nice i got it at a really good price um and that was lovely yeah i wear that quite a lot because it just drapes so yeah jersey is perfect for this yeah lovely yeah any floaty fabric so yeah you could even do a nice sequin one if you want to do for yes. christmas day yeah um yeah but it's the nice thing well, I, I would wear it now this time of year but also in the summer it's mm -hmm. perfect for travel it's perfect mm -hmm. for holiday you could even throw that over top of a swimming costume around the pool yeah. couldn't you? And, and belt that in yeah um but yeah and so yes jersey really easy and because style. there's not a lot of sewing in it for working with jersey you know don't worry that's your main construction is what we've done here it's here and here is your construction. The rest is just hemming. Finishing edges. It's the the cutting that's important of the pattern which we've done. Amazing. You? Thank <laughs> you for your messages. Any more questions, get them in. Um, right. Also wanted to... Did, did we run them all individually, Ben? So the cocoon cardigan is the one that... Um, the Sorry, the cardigan or coatigan, did you say? Yeah, the cocoon cardigan is the one that Tracy is wearing... Um, that's this one. You only need, well, you need two metres of your jersey fabric. And again, it's got that drop shoulder. Is there anything that you wanted to show on this one, Well, Tracy? I mean, it depends on how we're doing with time, but it's a very yeah. simple construction. You're I all right. Start making that. Yeah, yeah. We're, yeah. Still, we're going yeah. to um, run over because we started late with you, yeah. so we'd love to show as much okay. as we can. Yeah, of course. We'll do it the same as before, so without the hemming. So we'll start with our back panel. You'll lay your back panel out. Very easy, this one, because you've got a back panel and then you've got two fronts. A question about fabrics like this. Does it have a right and a wrong way? Some fabrics do, so just have a look at your fabric. I mean, basically, if you can see yourself a right and wrong, then that's, that's what you want to do, isn't it? To so make sure that you're identifying the right mm. side of your fabric. I tend to put two pins as a cross if there is a right side to it so that we know. Some jerseys are obvious and some, and some aren't. Um, but, yeah, just like before, we want a nice floaty fabric. I like that one. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? I've got so many. As you I can like lounge sizes as well in that. They yeah. Are lovely. And that's what we want, isn't it? Nice, comfy, extra leg. You do do a oh. pair of trousers, don't you? Is it a Mila trouser? Yeah, they were so popular. We've got a wide leg trouser um, and we've got the Miller trouser and that's on... Miller is on, um, is 11. on Collection 11. That was um, probably our most popular one ever. There you go. I'll show you this one. So if you're getting Pattern Collection 2 today, which is the one that we're working with, the collection 11 has a kimono on it it's got a tunic 
It's got a pleat neck tunic as well. And it's got the trousers, which are really lovely trousers. And you get a box bag tote bag as well. So but they're the, the ones, if anyone saw the last show that I did, they're the ones that we sold out on there. We made those trousers just in a flannel Christmas fabric as yeah. pyjama trousers. Oh, great. But equally as well for yeah. nice going out trousers. Um, oh, so yeah, nice. on the last show, those trousers sold out. But oh, I do like yeah. the idea of having your cocoon cardigan, your loungewear, trousers as well. Yeah. Very so that's stylish. quite a nice combination. This this one, number two and number 11, yep. USBs work really well together. And then, like you say, you're saving that 25% today off any of them. So if you're missing gaps in your collection. Do you find lots of people are building up a bit yep. of a collection now then? Yeah, yeah? because... It takes a lot of time for us to plan and work out what's going in each one because I really want to make sure that we're covering different techniques in each yeah. one. So if you're new to it or if you're, you know, developing new skills, that you're just going to learn something different with each collection. So they all work quite nicely like that. Um, so, yeah, people have been collecting them, which is lovely. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so what I've done is I've had the back panel and then I put the two front panels on top, right sides facing. Mm -hmm. OK, and I'm just going to stitch just like we've done before. The shoulder seams. Most of our construction is going to be like that. So really, it's not much different to the last top this stage. It's always our shoulder seams that we're going to do first. Even though I'm doing it in a stretch fabric, I'm just doing it in a straight stitch because I've not, um, I'm not using the stretch of the fabric to do this. Um, I'm just using the jersey because it's comfortable rather than needing to. It's not a fitted garment that needs stretch. Um, and if you've got an overlocker, of course, you could do it on the overlocker without any problem. So we start at the shoulder seam. I've got a um, black thread in here, but of course, just use a matching thread. I'm going to make the stitch length a bit longer. Is this quite stretchy fabric? Yeah, this one is. But you don't need, um, you know... Because we're not stretching. So okay. the reason we need to, on, when we're doing, um, if you're doing a stretch, a dress, for example, or a skirt, if you stretch the fabric at the end, as you're, at the hem, as you're walking, you're obviously going to use the stretch of the fabric. So then if you don't do a jersey stitch, a stretch mm -hmm. stitch, what's going to happen is your stitching is going to pop and break, mm -hmm. basically, because the fabric stretches, but your stitching doesn't. But with this, actually, we want those shoulder seams to be quite stable. We don't want them to stretch and no. break. So that's why I'm using a straight stitch for that. Right. With a fabric oh, like this, I can use a normal, a normal needle, not a jersey needle, um, and that works absolutely fine. Always test it with your fabric. Really, I find that I would want a jersey needle if it's a fabric that's going to ladder, then a jersey needle tends to be like a ballpoint needle kind of thing, and then that will go in between the holes and, and not ladder the fabric so much. But with this, I'm just using a regular, normal needle. People are scared of jersey, I know, but yeah. you don't need to be. <laughs> when you unlock jersey, though, oh, my gosh, it's a whole new level of oh, excitement. There's so many amazing jersey fabrics out there. And of course, you can stitch jerseys so quick because they're basic yeah. styles. Like I was saying, we don't need a zip, we don't need darts, we don't need any fitting for jersey because yeah. it's just going to stretch. It's so comfy. So comfy. So don't be scared. Um, right, so I've done those shoulder seams. And what I'm going to do now is flip those over like that. I'm going to be good arms. So it's hard to see in here. And I'm going to put the sleeve in. So we've got really basic sleeve here. I'm going to take one. I'm going to fold that in half. So we've got the narrower end is going to be our cuff and the wider end is going to be the top. But don't worry, it's all in the instructions. Pop a pin here because I want to find the midpoint on our sleeve, the halfway point. And rather than putting lots of notches, so I've just put a pin here, the halfway. Um, it's easier to mark it with a pin because if your fabric was a fabric that was going to ladder, by putting a little notch or a little snip, it might ladder. So I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to line up those wool edges, and that will be putting our sleeve in. Nice and simple. Like that. And down to here. Just make sure you've got your edges together. And the same the other side. So it's going to be half on the front and half on the back. How is your daughter enjoying Birmingham, oh, by the way? absolutely loving it, thank you. Yes, yeah, so I went to see her last night for her to put up her first Christmas tree. And how is um, how's your eatery? Are you going around all the eateries in King's Heath mostly? I haven't had enough yet? time to, but I kind of have. Yeah, we've done a few. We've done you don't eat few. Vietnam yet? Done where, so? Eat Vietnam. No, I still haven't been. I think we recommended that last you time. You did, and I kept saying to my daughter, and then we haven't managed it, because quite often when I've come up, we've kind of either gone into the city or we've had other yeah. things planned. Um, so, yeah, no, we were. Last night we were making 
paper chains to go on her oh, tree. Oh, and... fabulous. Oh, That's so nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Is your daughter actually. really crafty? Yeah, she's an architect, so she's very, yeah, yeah. artistic and, yeah. Yeah, so she... Wow. Yeah, so she kind of made all sorts of decorations for a tree and stuff. So, yeah, that was lovely. Popcorn and we watched... Um, the holiday. Oh, and there's always classic. a debate: is that a Christmas film or not a Christmas yes, film? Yes, it is. I think so. It's our favourite. Um, yeah, so very nice. Right, so that's that sleeve in, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold that over. I'm going to do the side seam. I won't do the other side, but it'll just give you an idea. So you see, when you fold that in half, now this is our underarm sleeve. So now I'm going to do from here mm -hmm. all the way down the side. Is there a right way or wrong way to do it? Do you always go from sleeve to down or do you go down to sleeve? If, if you're, as long as you're pinning it, okay. it's fine. I would, on here, I'm going to work, because I'm only going to put a few pins for speed, I'm going to work from the sleeve because that's the smallest end in case it stretches. Yeah, yeah. But so it, you pin right at the underarm seam first. Yeah, where it and meets then at the end, end of the sleeve because then we can, if it's stretching in between, we can make sure that we've got the right amount of fabric okay. going into there. Um, more like that. So yeah, all those. You know, when I would learn dressmaking at school, it would be you'd have to pin it, then you'd have to tack it. Yeah. <laughs> before now, you will see the machines. I'm always happy to go over the pins on the machine. I know some people don't like to, but I find the brother machines go over it without any problem. If you had an overlocker, obviously that is different. Um, you just need to make sure your pins are away from the edge. So I'm going to pin all the way down this long edge here. And this has taken us down the side. It kind of, like, like I called it the cocoon card skin, because that's kind of what it does. It just sort of drapes around yeah. the sides down there. It's a lovely, just big baggy sort of loungewear one. But if you wanted to dress it up, you know, the one that I'm wearing now, you could always put a big mm. brown leather belt with it or something, yeah. couldn't you? And some oh, yeah, that's nice. or something. So, yeah, put those together like that. Have you started watching your Christmas films yet? Um, I have with, I, I say that. Maisie's two, she's three in April, so she's sort of, she's understanding it a lot Bit, more, so yeah. she's really excited, so I do keep saying, do you want to watch Christmas film, do you want to watch Christmas film, or do you want to watch something Christmas? She's very much into Frozen, which okay. I don't know whether that's, that's not a Christmas film, that's all year round, isn't it? But we have started, um, we're definitely in Christmas mode in our house, we went to a Christmas party yesterday, Aww. we're going to see Santa this afternoon at the Coventry Transport Museum, yep, Amazing. we're going to the Gruffalo tomorrow at the Arts Centre, like, we're literally in full Christmas mode. Brilliant. Which I, mean, I love. That's what it's all about, isn't it? It's all about the experience. Sometimes I feel we get a bit sidetracked with buying all the presents, but actually it's the experience of having fun. Oh, yeah, she won't remember. Well, no. she uh, to be honest, with the present side of it, we're not particularly doing many presents this year. It's like you said, it's more the who you're with, yes. making it nice and experience nice. Exactly. Or, you know, like, I think we're so lucky in what, in what we do and that we can all craft that yeah. to be able to make something, something then that's really lovely too because it's you're so just showing them personal. the love rather than that's traipsing it. around hit a shopping center at this time of year trying to desperately find something if you can just make something it just yeah. means so much doesn't it oh absolutely it's so personal and i think it's important we take some time for ourselves as well this time of year to make something for very mindful joy. yeah otherwise it gets a bit stressful Okay, so what I've done there, so that was the underarm. So I've gone from here all the way down the side. So that would be the, obviously you'd repeat the same on the other side. That's the construction done. And then what you've got is the hemming to do, okay, which is going to be just like we've done before. So you could overlock it mm -hmm. uh, and turn it under once and machine it, or you could turn it under and under again on this fabric. But if I pop this on the stand, you'll see, take that sleeve out, pop it on top of this one. These colours work quite nicely together, don't they? Again, so quick. I know your cutting is a lot of, you know, it, it spend a bit more time well, with the cutting. Yeah, spend a bit of time with the cutting, but you've, you've got a back panel and a pair of front so that's and sleeves. It. None of these things are things that take a lot of time. So when I used to do the classes, I used to think people want to make a project within three hours because you feel like you've achieved something. There's nothing worse than you go and dressmaking mm -hmm. and you spend all day doing something mm -hmm. and then, you know, you don't get it finished or, yeah. you know, you're disappointed with it or it doesn't fit. So that's why we've done styles that are going to fit every shape and size. Love so you that. Can see, even though it's on a man's mannequin, so excuse that, it hasn't got much shape, this one. But yeah, so we do the underarm all the way down. So then you just have the hem in. So here you could just do that under and under again, all the way around the bottom and the same on the end of the sleeve. So 
these are really are patterns that you could make and wear that same evening or yeah. out for lunch that day and it's just really empowering really and nice oh, and rewarding to make your own clothes you've got something a bit different that no one else has and you've got that fun of choosing the fabric which i love <laughs> isn't it the best feeling ever when somebody says oh where'd you get that and you say i made it exactly no one's gonna have the same Go thing as you absolutely <laughs> uh right should we have a recap so we've got here the cocoon cardigan which is the one that we've just made available in the paper um i say the paper bundles or the usb bundles so the paper bundles are the ones where they're all printed out all ready to go in their folders um and you have all of your printed out patterns and instructions for the cocoon cardigan in size uh, 10 to 28 you get the coat again as well all of the dressmaking patterns are size 10 to 28, so all very inclusive, all a great size range. You do get your size guide in each of them. You've got the Amelia drape top, which we looked at earlier on, and you've also got the Lexi top pattern, which I love the collar detail on the yeah. Lexi pattern. That's really nice. Yeah, it's been really popular, that one. Really flattering and nice. And you can wear a long sleeve T-shirt underneath that if you want this time of year, if yeah. you don't want to pair it with one of the cardigans. But again, it's a top that you could wear for dinner. Yeah. You could tuck it in a nice pair. If you wore that with the wide-length trousers, you could wear that to a wedding, could yeah. you, an event. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, we're looking... At styles as well that you can get as much use out of as well. We don't want you just to make the patterns once. We want you to make them over and over again and enjoy them. You have your size guide in there. You've got your instructions. Plus you have your full size patterns all included. And I know that you're... It's quite a community, isn't it, Alan the Sewing Cat? Yes. You've got a great blog post on there. Yeah, because and people are sharing information and yeah. things that they've made, which is lovely. So we always share those photos, and then we have a dressmaking subscription that people subscribe to. And so yeah, okay. it really has become. I mean, we've had I've been in business for or oh, about 13 years now we've been wow. doing this so yeah we've built up a lovely customer base so it's really nice and are you on facebook as well you've got facebook, facebook pages. yes yeah and it's been great doing sewing street because obviously your viewers are so lovely as well and yeah. when you get to the shows you get to meet them face to face and when they come up and say look at my trousers i've made yeah. or look at my jacket i've made it's really lovely brilliant um, keep putting them up on the uh, facebook fan page as well let's encourage everybody let's make it a thing we can all be making our clothes ourselves in the new year and especially with you know capsule wardrobe patterns like this and not to to uh forget that we also have a free clutch bag pattern that comes with it today as well so you get your bonus pattern in there as well which is a lovely clutch bag another one that's great gift idea for somebody really great gift idea for someone 49.99 there for your paper patterns that's the the most affordable way to get them all if you're getting them individually it would cost you over 60 pounds um that's if you want them printed out Talking of best price to get all of those patterns, though, it would definitely be on the um, USB. That would be £65.46, by the way, so less than £50. All those patterns, though, on a USB, ready to print at home in your own convenience at £38.99. You've still got the Amelia top, the Cotigan, the Lexi top, the Cocoon cardigan and the clutch bag in all of the sizes that we um, stated, still all 10 to 28 38 pounds and 99 pence free clutch bag is also on there really easy to print out ready to go um don't forget if you are adding in another one we did recommend maybe collection 11 as it's got the trousers that flew out last time that tracy was here you've got christmas collections you've got bag collections you've got craft collections the one with ella the elephants on there as well that was pattern collection one and the draft excluded that you saw earlier so have a big mooch underneath us on the web because there's 18 different USB collections there. And all you need to do is add another one to your order. You don't need to necessarily get this one. You can choose two of the others. Just buy more than one of your USB um, pattern collections and you will get 25% off today. Right. Um, Anything else that you wanted to mention? Sorry, Tracy. Happy? I'm happy. I think we've kind of covered, yeah, we've covered everything. Lots. Yeah, keep sharing the photos though, please. Yeah. We love to see it and Thank enjoy you. dressmaking. Do you have a date that you're back in? We're back in, it's kind of middle of January. Oh, so we're not seeing you this, the rest no, of this year. No, I know. It's very sad, isn't it? <laughs> no, happy <laughs> Christmas. Yes, and you. But yeah. Um, Thank you. Yeah, it's gone so quick. We'll yeah, see you We'll be back time. in the new year with okay. new things next year. So, happy space. Watch the space. <laughs> Make the most of these then ready for Christmas because we're not going to be seeing them now before the new year. So if you're thinking of gift ideas or Christmas parties, um, get all of your patterns all ready. Now, coming up, we have got 50 minutes of madness. Are you ready? We're going to do clearance.
I'm not ready for this. There are so many fabrics which are going to be suitable as well for the patterns that you've just bought. So stay where you are. We've got clearance coming up right after this. <laughs> Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harborough. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses. But I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based. The thing I particularly love about fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try, there's always a new technique or a new skill to learn uh, and I really enjoy doing that. My top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing always looks better when it's been pressed and it's not like ironing your own clothes, it's much more, much better than that. And also to uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. You know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really, just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. 
Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the combine order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Hello, welcome back. I can't believe it's already quarter past 12. We've got a lot to do in the next 45 minutes. Now, you know, we were just talking about the cotagon and the um, cocoon cardigan. We've got fabrics which are perfect for that. Perfect. I'm sure you needed two metres of fabric, maybe two and a half, maybe just to be safe. Um, then these are gorgeous they are the rope knits and they're all different colors as well i get all colors and then you've got cardigans in all colors if you did get those patterns how perfect are these fabrics and it's clearance are you ready because we're going to do some great prices for you as well let's go for the navy blue i love the navy blue this is perfect for your um cocoon cardi and look at the price are you ready ben Let's make sure everybody can make their cardigan really affordably as well today. Three pound 49 and a half meter. And it's got this beautiful rope running through as well. Just 349, how amazing is that? Oh, thank you so, so much, Ben. It's definitely stack, uh, st uh, definitely stock up your dressmaking wardrobe today. We've got viscose fabrics, we've got knits, we've got quilted fabrics coming up. We've got cotton lawns, we've got some really other nice viscose ones as well. This is a lovely navy blue. Sorry, I think um, the lights just went very bright on there, but it is a lovely deep navy blue. £3.49 and a half metre and it will be cut off the bolt for you. <coughs> So if you need two metres, for example, add four units to your basket. <coughs> so I'm thinking if you need, well, you're saving, if you want five metres, that's 10 units. And that means you are saving 35 pounds. This is where if you do buy more, you're always going to use it, especially if you're a dressmaker. This is so useful, isn't it? I think in cardigans, definitely. Jumpers, brilliant. £3.49 a half metre. Loads of people adding this to their basket. By the way, get as much as you can because you can't buy fabrics these prices anymore, can you? We can't get them in. We can't buy this back at that price. Cut to order for just £3.49. It comes in all different colours as well. We've got it in like an accru, a cream. We've got it in a grey and we've also got it in black. <coughs> this is how we're starting our clearance show. I missed all of Black Friday. 
I feel like I haven't seen any of the clearance shows yet, so I'm really excited that I've got 45 minutes. Do you know when I am here though as well? Boxing Day. Oh, I'm so excited for the Boxing Day Bonanza. Always get good deals then. Look at this. I've never seen these fabrics before. They must have launched for something, um, you know, one of our dressmaking shows. It was with John and Hannah. One show, ooh, three pounds, 49 and a half meter. Slight stretch to it, um, but still, it's gonna be really lovely to, to sew with. It's super soft, gonna be really nice against your skin. Nice for jumpers. Lovely for, um, Maisie's got a Christmas skirt, very similar to this. I might actually, you know, she might actually wear this for meeting Santa later, which you could pleat, would be so nice. Even cushions. These would be really nice for cushions, wouldn't they? How wide is it? Does it give you the, um, the, comp the um, composition or width or anything on your details there, Ben? I do like this as a jumper. You could embroider onto it, couldn't you? You could do Christmas stockings in this as well, knitted stockings. It's not too late, you can still do your stockings. That is a lovely fabric. Three pound, 49 and a half meter, 146 centimeters wide, 54% rayon, 26% nylon, 20% polyester does have a little stress to it rope knit lovely smooth design um really smooth texture it's really nice but also really really nice and warm it'd be lovely as a sweater nice v-neck sweater it'd be lovely as a jumper dress i'm thinking with a belt <laughs> yeah a border <laughs> Ben and his borders. Um, shall we do the grey? We've also got it in grey and black. I can't believe that this is 349. I'll have this one, please. Oh, I like this as a scarf as well. And all you would need to do is do a nice little um I just hem it, just finish the edge, just half a meter even. That'd be a really nice scarf, wouldn't it? £3.49. That is a bargain. We love, love, love our clearance sections. This is already a great price, it's seven pounds. Please don't expect the whole hour to be like this, by the way. I think we started with a real bang. That is so good. We've got jerseys coming up. We've got some cotton lawns coming up. So anybody who bought in the last hour, anybody who bought any of the dressmaking patterns with the owl and the sewing cat, or if you haven't, and you're now thinking, Right, well, what am I going to use this fabric for? Have a look back. Collection two, your USB ports, um, USB patterns. It's perfect for the, um, I'm thinking for either the cocoon cardigan. The coat again could work as well. It's lovely, isn't it? 3.49. In 35 minutes, this is it. All the fabrics are, that's it. Does it, it stays on the website all day. This isn't one of those that disappears, is it? No, it'll be there. Have a look through. Have a look through. We've also got... It's gone so quick today, Ben, hasn't it? I think a black knitted dress. You can't go wrong. Black tights, black boots, all very smart, lovely for Christmas, but really, really soft. That is lovely fabric. If you were to buy, I'm thinking a men's V-neck jumper as well. Really smart, really nice, maybe with a polar neck top underneath it. How much in, in John Lewis or in Marks and Spencers or in Next, how much do you pay for a, you know, a nice V-neck jumper? And it's super soft, it really, really is. £3.49, a half metre. £3.49, yes. Jack Wills, Hollister. That's so funny that you said that. My mum used to always say that. I remember when Hollister first opened in the ball ring in Birmingham. And my mum was like, why are they all queuing? They're all queuing to get into this really dark shop that you can't even see, see what you're looking at. This is an example of Hollister sewing street style. <laughs> you walk in, you're like, what am I looking at? Oh, he's funny, isn't he? Uh, we haven't got our Christmas tree lights on, have we? 
It looks a lovely Christmas tree though. I think I'm going to change my Christmas tree next year. I've had it a long, 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 long time. I inherited it from my parents, so it's been probably 20 years that we've had this Christmas tree. But I think I'm ready for a fresh one. Sorry, Mum, if you're watching. I think I am ready. I like these ones with snow on. I do like these. Mine's looking a little bit sparse now. Um, yours has got berries and acorns. I like the pink ones. Not the pink Christmas trees, the green Christmas trees with white snow, but then people put like big pink flowers. And we are a very girly household now, aren't we? All the girls, my own little girl band. Right, three pounds 49. <laughs> Should we do the jerseys just as we're sticking with the dressmaking at the minute? I've got some really nice heavy um jerseys here two different colors let me show you them both so you can see which one you prefer but again these are lovely almost like um sort of warm again they're fleeced backed oh so so soft terry backed terry backed jersey oh look at this gorgeous stretch 399 and a half meter that really gorgeous terracotta with the splashes of orange and purple. Love that. Again, another sweater top or um, just like a t-shirt with this. Lounge wear. Jogger bottoms. Just 3 99 You are giving us some absolute deals. This is supposed to be 8 99 and a half metre. Three ninety nine and a half meter. We're getting old, Ben. I went to the Gemporia Ball last week, and honestly, it's the first time I've stayed up past half past eight at night. I can't stay up. If anything, if my mum recommends something on the telly that starts at nine o'clock, uh, there is no chance I can watch anything at nine o'clock nowadays. It's awful, isn't it? And our first set, we were singing, was at nine o'clock. What is this time? It was so bizarre staying up so late. I felt so tired the next day. But um, I'm obviously an early bird. I'm up every morning. Even if I'm not here, I'm up at five anyway. So, yeah, by seven o'clock, half seven. Am I the only person? Is it because I'm, you know, looking after the babies? Or is it because it's just this time of year, everybody gets into bed early? Yeah, Ben said he's just getting old. I don't see, you know, people going out now, though. It's all about date, going out a date. Right, how much did you take that last one to? Was it 3 99 You're going to have to do the same with this. He, he said it won't let him. <laughs> it won't let him. It's, it's supposed to be 4 99 Right, we're doing it. In fact, it's supposed to be 6 99 <gasps> 3 99 Grab it whilst you can. It's a jersey. Never, ever been in any sort of clearance before. We've only got three metres left. It's been flying on pre-order. Uh, I'm so pleased the clearance is working. We're making room for all the new treats in the warehouse that we're going to be able to bring to you uh, in uh, January. Very excited. Are you here next weekend? What? No, actually, I'm not here next weekend, I don't think. Is it the 17th I'm here next? A week on Sunday. That one's gone. Well done, someone's took the lot. That's the thing with dressmaking fabrics, you might need more than half a unit. Half a unit, half a metre. Um, right, I've got some other dressmaking fabrics. Um, should we do these lovely poplin? Poplin weights. These are so cute. Now I am thinking, the children in our life, lovely little reading cushions. Nice little, um, I'm thinking little dresses. This is a navy blue and it's got shooting stars and moon stars. Oh, this is lovely. Backpacks. Storage tubs. Oh my gosh, how is that 2 
And it comes in three different colours, by the way, just so you know. And we're going to have to match the price on each. So if you want to get ahead underneath us on the web and grab what you can, it's cotton. It is cotton. We are living in a world right now where everything is going up in price. We all know that. How have we taken this to 2 99 That is like better than Black Friday discounts, better than Boxing Day. We should have promoted this show. This is crazy good. 2 99 a half metre for any cotton fabric. I would absolutely go for it. And it's this lovely lawn weight as well. So it's nice and lightweight. If you want to make a bag out of it, still absolutely suitable. What I would just suggest is you use a interfacing like a, an H640 wadding or a Bosel if you want to. But pencil cases, purses, backpacks, children's wear. There's a lot you can do with a cotton lawn. It's lovely, super, super soft. And so cute with all the little stars. I'd even use this as a lining, fancy lining. For $2.99, you can't go wrong. Um, if you wanted to quilt with it, you can, but just be aware that it's not um, a quilting weight. So it would just, you know, if you're using it with quilting weight fabrics, it's, it's, it's not gonna, it, 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 isn't, it isn't the end of the world. You can absolutely go for it, but um, just be aware that it's a different weight. Frozen Hubble as well. Did you hear earlier on when um, we had our kit with Alan Sewing Cat and we were looking at the Tallulah bunny? The first thing that Tracy said was, the fabric is Rosen Hubble. Therefore, you know the quality of it. So please be rest assured that this isn't, you know, middle aisle kind of craft weight cotton. This is beautiful, law, uh, absolutely lovely um, poplin weight rose and hubble cotton i love it and that's so cute look with the um pastel tones even if you wanted to make some nice bedding out of this i'm thinking like pillowcases really into reading cushions at the minute well maisie i think all children love books don't they i'm so pleased like obviously you know when you they get older and they love their tablets and their computers and things like this and the screens Maze just loves reading books. We do have to do so many stories tonight. And I, I actually really enjoy it. We're going to watch The Gruffalo tomorrow at Warwick Art Centre. Anybody who's got a... Child. I don't know when Julia Donaldson sort of started, because I don't think she was sort of around when I was young, but they have been going a long, long time. But The Gruffalo, Zog, Room on the Broom, Snail and the Whale, they're all classics now. You, you have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Oh, just you wait, just you wait. You've heard The Gruffalo. Have you had the Gruffalo? Right, this is then your pink. They're all on um, on the iPlayer. You can they give them a watch. They're a good watch. <laughs> Two pounds ninety nine. That's what Kieran said. Your lovely pink, shooting stars. I am amazed at how much we've taken under three pounds already. I mean, that is bonkers. Three pounds, a half metre. This is where, if you want to make lots of, <laughs> if you want to make lovely, I'm thinking gift bags. We've got, I'm just thinking, as, especially now Maisie's at nursery, all her little friendship groups. Oh my gosh, there's, she goes to her little dancing. So she's got her dancing friends, she's got a nursery friend, she's got my mum's, you know, my mum friends, their kids as well that she has to be friends with. We did say this, I've made such good friends with a couple of, um, of like my antenatal classes. And I said, oh, what about if our children don't like each other when they grow up? Like we are dedicated to being friends forever and our children to be friends forever. Um, but I did think she's going to have so many birthday parties to go to this year now that they're turning three. So I thought I've got to get loads of lovely gift bags. You can make fabric gift bags, couldn't you? Get yourself some of the blue, get yourself some of the pinks already. <laughs> it's just a funny word. Two ninety nine and a half. <laughs> Sorry, you're going to make me cough. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> £2.99. Sorry, Ben's making me chuckle. 
Oh, he's funny. Funny looking. I'm only joking, he's really funny. Um, do you want to do the viscose? Because the viscose would be really lovely for, remind me, Amelia, the Amelia top that we had in the last hour. Do you know the lovely floaty kimono style sleeve? Oh, Ben, I can see you rocking a shirt in this as well. <gasps> Look. Oh, there's a great blog post on the Alan the Sewing Cats page about talking, uh, uh, talking about working with viscose and any sort of slippier fabrics. This also goes to 2 99 Are you actually having a laugh, Ben? What is going on? I think his um, finger's stuck on that button. £2.99, a half metre. For dresses, this is lovely. You want something with a nice bit of drape. And that's got really lovely drape to it. £2.99, a half metre. No, I'm very pleased your finger's stuck on that button because everything has been discounted a lot lower than I thought it was going to be. I thought, you know, a pound off here and there, especially if you're multi-buying, makes a massive difference. This is half price. If we start saying it's because, you know, Ben, you saw earlier on about, you know, everyone got excited about half price, half price, half price. This is now your half price. I mean, that is amazing. For fabrics in your stash. And that's a bit different, isn't it? I definitely said it was unisex. Men's blouse. Like that a lot. But also imagine a floaty wrap dress. <gasps> that is beautiful. We love a viscose. Um, there aren't very many that you'd be able to get this sort of price, by the way. Not this quality. And it's so soft. It is so, so soft. It would be really, really lovely um, as a dress. Okay. I don't know if we have any other viscose other than the sort of lining ones that we have. We could do, can we do please, the Koi Carp? Because this is fabric that I absolutely love. It definitely does not need to go into a clearance because this is so popular. Um, we've got the lovely sort of turquoise and we've also got the light blue. This is again, Roseanne Hubble, great quality. I love the Koi Carp. I've got the turquoise. Isn't this gorgeous? Whether you're fussy cutting an applique, whether you're doing a kimono, buy it. Have it in your stash because this is not just under three pounds now. This is under 250, a half meter. Do you know, Charlie, when you were earlier on, before we got here, I got here at about quarter past six this morning. Charlie was busy on a sewing machine in the corner of the studio, sewing strips together, making strip sets, doing, He's going for it, our Charlie. I was like, what are you making? He was like, I don't know yet, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make some strips. I'm going to make it all, you know, put it all together and see what I want to make. And I just think sometimes you buy a pattern and it, you, then you find fabric to go with it. Sometimes you get the fabric and you're like, right, I don't know what I'm making yet, but I love that fabric. And that's exactly what happened with Charlie this morning. He saw some fabric. He was like, I don't know what I'm going to make yet, but I love it. And it was all in strips, so he was making his own piece of fabric basically and whether you choose to cut this up sub cut it as I said this is a great fussy cutting fabric um, but also and you can still use this in your quilting be aware that it is a poplin weight but it would be lovely for dressmakers oh there's way too many of you there 21 meter sorry 21 people three meters sorry right we do also have the sky blue are you going to do the same price Yes, he jolly well is. Here we go. Oh, Maisie started doing that now. I, um, do you know when if you're watching something on YouTube and there's adverts and you can click, you can click skip ads. So I just tell her to go advert skip parto, and she thinks that's what it does it. So I hear her doing it on her, on her own, thinking it's going to skip, and I'm just sat there with the remote like skipping it, and I thought. And I heard her and I was like, oh, it's not going to work. But she was like really going for it at the telly. No, you can't skip some of them. No. I was like, go on, you're not quite saying it right. It's skip our toe, not skip our toe. This is the fun that we have. <laughs> there are so many things now that you can say, yeah. <laughs> Oh, but there's so many things that she's, Maisie says to me, and I think, how on earth do you know that? 
Uh, it's bizarre that you know that. What was it that she said the other day? Oh, we were driving somewhere. She went, no, mummy, that's the way to there. And I thought, how does she know that? It is the way. And I said, how do you know that? And she went, because I'm very clever. Or something like this. And I thought, oh, this is a bit spooky. You've been here before. She is very clever. But she knows it. Right. Oh, did you miss that? Because we've also got these, look. Like rainbow fish. I've never even seen these before. Right, ending in 18, please, Ben. What sort of fish are these? They're Rose and Hubble. I love it. Right, come on, let's do again under three pounds. Cartoon fish is so cool. My favourite is this one, I think. See, you could, f oh, this one. You could fussy cut it. I like this one. Go on, show me your favourite. Come and point. You could again fussy cut these, couldn't you, and just put them onto, um, well, you could have them on the central point of a, a square or a hexi. Right, Ben's favourite fish. I like this one. We can't see that one. Hang on. Oh, these overheads. Okay. I like this one because it looks like he's just given him a little tap and he's gone, hey! Look, hey! <laughs> his little, with his little flipper. <laughs> Can you tell we get to this point of the day where we're all a bit delirious? You literally start seeing one fish hitting another fish. That's so funny. Thanks, Ben, for that input. That's Ben's favourite fish. Do not let that put you off. It's really cute, isn't it? I think like little backpacks and things. That would be lovely. Thank you. We got it in the blue. Excuse me, you've got your deep navy blue. <laughs> Bright yellows and blues and pinks. 2.99 a half metre. How? Bearing in mind, this is half price today. Today? Today, only for today, because tomorrow it'll go back up to £5.99. Um, absolutely reap the benefits of getting cotton fabric in your stash for less than three pounds a half metre. We're still offering you the opportunity of buy off the bolt. So you can still say if you want a metre, buy two units and it'll come joined up for you. Uh, so it's not like, oh, look, this is a clearance. These have all been cut. Saying that though, you could only buy three units now and only one person can because there's a metre and a half left. And then that's gone. This is the point of a clearance. We want to make sure that we're clearing out the lines, uh, making room for more new bolts in our, um, in our warehouse. Right, now this is so pretty. It comes in three colours, in a pink, a grey and a green. Rose and Hubble, they look a little bit Liberty S, Ditsy floral prints in the pink. Yeah. Yes, please. Right, this is another absolute bonkers price, Ben. His finger is stuck on that button again. It's not just going to 2 99 though. Better than half price. He's just dropped the mic. Mic drop. £2.49. This would make lovely little pretty um, scrunchy bubbles. Or lovely wash bags. Nice makeup bags. Nice girly print or a little dress, little girl's dress. <laughs> Why did you come really close to the microphone then to suggest that? He wants to make some slippers. You could, you could. I've seen fat quarter slippers actually, ones that you make out of fat quarters and you can put uh, like a fleecy interfacing and I'm not sure what you use for the base of your slippers, but you can make them. Yeah, you say it's, it's not a silly idea. That'd be nice. Um, what about some nice storage tubs for your sewing room? Just make it all uh, nice and fresh and vibrant. I like this bright yellow in there. Right, look at the 
price we should be at. I'd be really happy. I'd be very confident stood here talking about this at 5 99 It's a lovely quality. Rose and Hubble, pot plume weight cotton. Great for dressmakers, great for quilters, great for anyone who's making home furnishings. Making to sell, this is where your quid's in. Because if you can just sort of get your costs down as much as possible it makes a massive difference on what you're going to be selling at a craft store um just being able to get half a meter for two pound 49 is a, is a big difference isn't it when you're looking at six pounds a half meter especially when you're multi-buying definitely use the multi option you're only paying one pmp if you were involved earlier on maybe in anna louise hour there he is it's just here. Two pound forty nine and a half metre. We also have green. Levi's been really nice to me today. He's really looked after me. I think he's bought me lots of coffees. I didn't have a bad night last night, you know, though. I think the girls only woke up twice. It wasn't too bad. Seven pound forty nine. I did have Maisie in the bed with me. I did have a nice cuddle with Maisie. I had to creep out this morning. Because I didn't want to wake anybody. It was so early. I didn't turn on one light at all. I got ready completely in the dark. Can you tell? Yeah. I even went in the garage and thought, right, I want to get my Christmas jumpers out now. It's official, isn't it? All this month, I say that. I'm here on the 17th and I'm here on Boxing Day. And I will be wearing Christmas jumpers for all three shows. Just because I love it. This is me for the next month now. I am. I'm singing at the Christmas German market in Birmingham, the Frankfurt market, on the 23rd of December. It's a Saturday, Saturday before Christmas. I think it might be the last day, although they did do it Christmas Eve last year. They opened it Christmas Eve, 2 p.m. till 4 p.m. in the bandstand. I know the 23rd of December is going to be disgustingly busy, isn't it? But it will be such a good atmosphere. 2 p.m. till 4, so it will be just getting dark. It will be lovely. I'm really excited for that. Then you could come, we could do a duet. It would be so good. I'll ask Michael Wolf actually instead. <laughs> now, Kerry, our living in loveliness, I can imagine, is in today. He's on a um, jewelry maker. This one would be a beautiful summer dress. I'm imagining Kerry from Living in Loveliness wearing this. And it's 2 99 Do you know, if you're making a dress and you're going to need three metres of fabric or four metres of fabric, then, right, can you just work this out for me? I need four metres of fabric for a dress pattern. It's 2 99 Yeah, how much is that going to cost? Yeah. Four metres. It's only £23 for all of this beautiful fabric. And, I mean, that is... Ooh, that is a lot of fabric, isn't it? Four metres. Half a metre is just two ninety nine, As opposed to what? So if it were five pound a half metre, how much would it cost me on a normal day? How much would it cost me tomorrow? 40 pounds. That's amazing. Um, today, less than three pounds a half metre. Enjoy. That's one of my favourites. There's nothing else quite like that, by the way. These lovely flowers. So cute. I think it's another Rose and Hubble one as well, which is great quality. I want a makeup bag, a nice big makeup bag, because I need a lot of makeup now we're on HD. I need my cement mixer in the morning. Um, right, can I go back to the quilted fabrics? Because I was going to wait till last, but I'm scared we're going to run out of time and I've got to get these in. Because, right, we've got, let's start with the black. We have got a stretch quilted fabric look okay you ready for a bargain bargain of the day do i need to even say anything in fact i don't want to say anything <laughs> this is supposed to be supposed to be five pounds right levi wants a hoodie yeah hoodie perfect 95% polyester, 5% elastane, or spandex, actually. Um, it's 189. I mean, 189. Yeah, hoodie. This is great for a hoodie, isn't it? Would you have, do you want an embroidered logo on it? <laughs> Levi. You could do it. <gasps> Lorenzo. Let's do it. Is that your name, Lorenzo? It's what Alice calls me. 
I love it. One pound eighty nine. Right, tell me how many is there a lot of people who have recognised this or is everybody going, uh, hang on, where is my phone? Forty six in baskets to now sixty four in baskets, eighty one in baskets. One pound eighty nine. This is quilted stretch fabric. Oh my gosh. Why have you taken that? Again, better than half price. Thank you very much to Hayley. That's like a better than manager special. That's a thank you for staying with us till 10 to 1. If you're still tuning in, then you get rewarded. <laughs> £1.89. I'm excited that we've got five colourways. Um, ben, are you going to do this on all five colours? We're going to do it on the navy as well. Levi's trying to take it away. No, we're going to do it on this one, this one, this one, and this one. Right. Tell me we've got loads of this to go around in the blue. In the navy. Oh, I just love the texture of it as well. Okay, we don't have stock that's good enough when we're taking it to one at 89 and a half metre. Come on. Come on. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if someone says, right, I want 10 metres, I want 20 metres, just, you know, give me what you got. What are you going to make? Jumpers? Hoodies? Would you do a tracksuit? Tracksuit bottoms? It's got a stretch. £1.89. I'm thinking like bag makers. I'm thinking home homewares as well. Storage tubs. Outdoor cushions, kneeling stool for um, gardening. If you're doing anything like um, toy making, it's got a really nice texture to it. So if you're doing anything, you know, that's nice for um, sensory, it's lovely. <laughs> we're delirious we are delirious right let's do right now there are two there's a white and a cream let's do the white please oh my gosh snowman outfit costumes imagine a little quilted snowman baby oh so cute at this sort of price this is where i would be thinking right fancy dress costumes Ghosts. <laughs> ben, this is, I like, what about a white hoodie? You might as well at this price, you've got it in black. I'm the sort of person that wants, if I, one that fits me and one that I like, just get it in every colour. At these sort of prices, you absolutely could do it. Just one pound 89 a half metre. You could do. <laughs> you're a magician or a fancy waiter in quilted gloves Ben wants to make baby play mat baby play mat absolutely is Hayley West in the gallery Hayley I don't know what Ben has done to these prices but tell me that is actually wrong 189 a half metre can I show you the width of it as well I don't even think I can oh! Sorry. <laughs> Look, it's how wide is it? Does it say it's over? It's definitely more than a. I want to say a one fifty. Oh, she's still got it. One fifty wide. We also have it in like an accru, like a cream. Sorry, Levi. I'm just getting very excited. This is such an amazing price. What about a lovely back? Pack. I think in bag makers, it does have stretch to it. Be aware it's got stretch to it. Um, this is lovely. Or even the um, the jacket. Way. <laughs> Bearing in mind, this is five pounds. Normally, this is five pounds a half metre. 
which we'd normally be saying, great price, happy with that, happy. I have never, I don't know if I've ever sold fabric, stretch fabric, for less than two pounds a half metre. That is better than a, that's like giveaway price. Come on, Ben. Honestly, he's gone wild in the aisles today. Call him Dale. Last one is charcoal. Oh, I'd like a hoodie in this colour, actually. I'm thinking now like pet beds. You could do a nice dog's bed, couldn't you? It's super soft, it's quilted. A jumper. Thermal leggings, Ben's saying. A cardigan like yours. Full length, nice cardigan, Becky. This would be lovely as a nice cardi. Getting loads of ideas now. I think when fabric, this is the fabric that I was talking about. Sometimes you buy a pattern and you search high and low for the right fabric to go with it. And then every now and then you think, right, I don't know what I'm going to use that for, but I cannot not buy that. At that price, I will find a project for it. Really good. Just £1.89. Um, I'm pleased that I managed to get those in. Can I just show you that we have got, underneath us on the web, lining fabrics, solid. These make beautiful scarves like pashminas. They would be stunning. They're all going to be moving on price underneath us on the web. Uh, so definitely have a look. Those ones as well. Just as we speak, Ben's going to run them through so they'll all be underneath us. But we've run out of time here. So tomorrow, join us again bright and early at 8am with John Scott. He's back after filming the uh, Threads of Life. John Scott's Threads of Life. So I'm sure you'll hear all about that. Um, he's been up in Warrington. He's been everywhere. Um, it was nice to have a catch up with him at the ball, though, last week. But uh, anyway, he's back with you tomorrow morning with Designer Fabrics with William Morris at 8 o'clock. Uh, Lisa Lamb's going to be here tomorrow with a new Metro Satchel at 9 o'clock. 10 o'clock, you've got Sewing Room Tools. The Stitch Pony with Lisa Lamb at 11 o'clock. And then at 12, you've got some mannequins and you've got overlockers. So you've got a jam-packed day as well with John. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so, so much for your company. Lovely to be back with you. I'm back again on the 17th, which is a week on Sunday. So um, enjoy whatever you're up to over the, next, uh, over the next few weeks, and I'll see you then. But stay where you are if you want more crafting this afternoon. Hayley West is here. Uh, Crafters Companion are on this afternoon. There's lots of amazing makes, as always, on Hobby Maker. And John will see you bright and early tomorrow morning. See you then. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge